Hey guys, didn't think I was going to go live this afternoon, but too much happened. We had a chat to the um, Avengers, and I know you rang me, Rob. I can't ask you that to somebody else, so it was more important than you. <laughs> um, but we are live again. Yep, we had a five hour session, and you just can't make this shit up. I'm going live again. I've got some interesting information. The goal was to actually go live into the Zoom meetings, but we've got a 1001 error, which means it means freaking good stuff, guys. I just can't. Look, there's my disclaimer. Read it. Don't believe anything I say. How you doing, guys? I've got a blooming buzzer instead of I'm Danny DeHeck, a.k.a. the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for being here again. We had an amazing session in the morning. I've had some critiquing in the way I deliver things. Apparently, I've got to come up with content and deliver it in a more concise manner. And I was trying to think, and we all were trying to think, we had a big chat with the Avengers. I have not had breakfast. <laughs> and it's lunchtime. It's one o'clock in the afternoon here in New Zealand. Welcome to my uh, YouTube channel and the Avengers who have been um, trying to figure out what the most important message is that we want to tell our viewers. Now, we've just watched the Spanish guy come into our stream in the morning and basically berate anybody claiming we don't know anything. Now, he's gone and done a live himself, and he's basically tried to explain to people in Spanish about how Sam Lee has got nothing to do with their company anymore, but we have undeniably proven that Sam Lee is very much involved with We Are Satoshi and you know, Boomerang, uh, BTCC coin, and there was another thing that was well established before Chavez came in and took over. So what we really want to do to people in this live session is to make it you absolutely 100% certain that you understand that um, the fact that these, um, that the American organization has actually laid charges against Sam Lee for a conspiracy to commit serious fraud is actually the downfall of the We Are All Satoshi um, plan. Not explain that very well. And I, the reason why I find it really difficult to explain things that I just want to say, I've always be believed, and I've got reason to believe my beliefs are true, is there's an organization at the top here, a criminal network. I often said I do not believe for a minute that Sam Lee is actually... Um, is actually the person behind these scams. And I think Sam Lee would be the first person to agree with me. Now, that, that's all very well for me to say that. I'm just checking to see if my microphone is, is true and I'm sounding good um, because this computer, I haven't had a chance to restart it. It looks like the microphone's coming over clear. If I sound like I'm talking in a tin can, please do let me know, Rob. So Criminal Network up here is Hypertech Group. And everyone works for Hypertech Group. Now, you have your um, people like Ryan Jew, and you have Sam Lee, and let's use Chavez. I'm trying to think of anyone else, maybe Mr. H. <laughs> but there's all these people that are running these programs. So you've got Sam Lee claiming he was the tech provider. He's got replaced by Chavez claiming he's a tech provider. So they're trying to say there's two tech providers, but at the end of the day, there's one tech provider up here, and everything to do with that is connected. It's all one organization. It doesn't matter what, for the use of a better word, CEO is running whatever Ponzi scheme they're spitting out in real time. It's just, they're just puppets. So that means the fact that Sam Lee may be arrested and charged, which he's been charged, but he hasn't been arrested, even though Rory Kanacha decided to tell everyone three people have been arrested to their connection to Hyperverse. Brenda Chunga had been arrested, but she'd been arrested way back in early December last year. And she was brought in for questioning. And then she was released out back into the community to try to entrap, entrap Sam Lee and Ryan Jew. But she had connections with Sam Lee. So I don't know if you've seen the video with her with a baseball cap and she looks like death warmed up, or as I normally say, looks like sweating like a rapist. She was befriending Sam Lee. And a lot of people are going, why is Brenda, you know, entertaining the fact that Sam Lee was trying to push his way 
back into the community and she was like facilitating it. And I'm sitting here thinking, I know what's happening because I've been told that she's trying to entrap Sam. So I, I know this stuff and I see this stuff and I can't always tell you, but now that it's past tense, doesn't really matter. So she was trying to entrap Sam. And I know this might be hard to believe, but I got told by some pretty serious fellas in America that Sam Lee was living in a house that was owned by Brenda Chunga. The rent for that house was being paid for by another organization. So you see how interwound Brenda Chunga was with Sam Lee. Now, there's some other intel about Brenda Chunga that I know that even the men in black, well, I think they've been told, I think I told them, they need to contact me. <laughs> but there's other money, money matters. Why do they go after these key people? Why do they go after good, funny accent, though? Oh, oh. Smoke came from the glassy nod. That's good. Yeah. So um, so why do they go after? Because people were upset and saying, oh, they're throwing Brenda under the bus and, you know, and she's not really guilty. So let's make that perfectly clear. Uh, Brenda Chunga has actually pleaded guilty to the charges. Now, why would you plead guilty to the charges if you weren't guilty? That's not rocket science, is it? Um, new member. Boom. Oh, thank you, mate. Did you join? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. That's friggin' awesome. So she's pleaded guilty to the charges. My battery's going to go flat, and I haven't had a chance to charge up my battery. This is going to be embarrassing. So I'll let that go flat. When I go flat, you'll know why. So she's pleaded guilty to the charges, which means she's guilty, right? Because if you don't watch Judge Judy as much as me, <laughs> you, you will know that you can't uh, – um, you can't make this shit up, all right? So my point is she's pleaded guilty. Whether she's incarcerated, I don't know. If you've watched the Netflix documentary called Bidcond, I think that's right, there's a guy there that was going to face 100 years in prison, and then when he went to the docks, he was out free and he went there, um, he basically got let out free uh, and didn't get any um, – jail time that could happen to brenda chunga we don't know we don't know what she, how much information she spilt the, the the events on so my video says um who's who's next um who is next well i'll tell you who i think is next because i've been calling the shots on a bit of this i believe that kalpesh patel is the next person that's going to get um now, think about this. America, I've forgotten the name of the word. So America has gone and charged Sam Lee. How can they do that? Sam Lee's not an American citizen. He's an Australian citizen. So Kalpesh Patel is also a, uh, well, he's a UK citizen as far as I'm aware. Now, they're going to charge him as well. Now, the reason they want to charge him, from what I can figure out, is because they want to set an example to anyone that wants to do business with Kalpesh Patel. Now, you might think that's not relevant, but Kalpesh Patel has been busy after he left Hyperverse. He's been busy promoting GS Partners for a couple of three weeks, and then I think that was his way of, I think that's a different entity altogether. And then after that stopped, he went back into promoting WeWe Wee Global. Now, anyone that wants to do nuts and bolt training with Kalpesh Patel may think twice if they know that America's after him and will arrest him if he ever sets foot on American soil. That would make logic sense to me. So they want to make an example. They want to make it clear not to do business with Kalpesh Patel. I believe that he will be the next person to be charged for serious fraud in his connection with Hyperverse. That's my prediction. I've heard something around that. I do believe that I, I, I some of the facts I get may be to get me to tell you guys, but that's what I believe. Now, why that's good is because Kalpesh Patel is actually in the UK. Well, he's in Dubai, but he's a UK citizen, which means there's an international task force doing this. Keith Williams, I got told, they have clawed back £2.1 million from Keith Williams. That's what I got told. Now, that may have not actually happened yet, but if you heard it here first, you might start listening to this YouTuber. Also been told that um, he's getting investigated. So Kalpesh Patel, sorry, Keith Williams could also be charged. Now, Keith Williams literally does have stage four cancer. Originally, I thought that was an exit strategy. His, his friend that he worked with for 20 years said, look, you know, you can't tell people where Keith lives um, because he actually is 
um, dying of cancer or he's really crook with cancer. So I said, well, what about the 60th birthday bash that he's having? Well, it is a birthday bash, but it's more of a farewell for Keith and remembrance of his life and celebrating his life while he's alive. I said, well, it's going to be very hard for my viewers to, who have lost all this money listening to Keith Williams and me going head to head with him on Zoom meetings um, to stomach, and they won't believe me. He said, well, how about if I show you a photo of Keith at the event, the 60th birthday party? So I, he, he shared a screen. He showed me a couple of photos of who, who was at the party, and there was a photo of Keith Williams. And I don't like seeing my worst enemies in a bad state, but this guy, I don't. there's no way in hell this could have been fudged. And I've also heard through his community that, yes, he could literally have uh, well, he has got stage four cancer. I, I can't deny that. I can't prove that. I'm not going to show you the photo because I promised I wouldn't, but I have a photo, and one day I will show it when it's all over, all right, because it was out of respect of Keith. So so the fact that they're going after people in the UK, that's brilliant. The fact that they're going after people in Australia, that's brilliant. The fact that they're going after people in America, that's brilliant, because there's an international task force coming after all you bastards who think that you can do these Zoom meetings. Now, I went live because... I got told that the Zoom meetings were going to be broadcasted. Now, they've got the error message 1001, which means the Zoom account that I reported this morning has been shut down already. Now, I show people how to shut down these meetings in real time. I've lost my Zoom accounts because I shared a pay slip of Carl Miller, who's on the dole, <laughs> and he's been working for We Are All Satoshi. So I know that when I send these meetings in, they are acting on my emails. Now, they have a support crew, and they have safety for Zoom meetings up here. I'm now talking to safety people. Obviously, if you give me an ID of a Zoom meeting that's running a multi-level marketing scam, it's reviewed within a couple of three hours, and we're getting them shut off. So yay ha to us. Now, any minute, I'm probably going to get a message that they've got a new Zoom meeting, and we'll go in there and we'll tune in there. I'm all ready to go in there because I have another device that I can get on Zoom. But right now... <laughs> Shit's getting real, guys, and it's quite exciting to be part of it all. But we I just saw a transaction. I don't know, Susie, if you saw that, but it's a transaction for $4.2 million that got transferred about eight, 10 hours ago out of one of those addresses that we monitor. Where was that money going? It would have been going to a hot Binance wallet off the platform. So we've tracked $7.2 million a few days ago, got transferred out. All the money that people are paying into these Ponzi schemes they're keeping it going as long as they can. So Hypertech Group have got puppets. They've got Sam. They've got Shavis. Mm, who else is it? There's other people that run in these meetings. Can't remember. Shavis has now gone and updated the terms and conditions of what was We Are All Satoshi, claiming that if anyone speaks out, they will take legal action against you guys. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Well, take legal action against me. About six weeks ago, Shavis said that they're doing serious legal action against me. If you are a proper and real entity, do it, bring it on. I have a good set of lawyers. Let's do it. Let's go, as Richard would say. So I'm going to have a look at the, some of the comments. We've got 15 people in the room here. Rob, give me some guidance here or come on the show if you like. I don't know if I've actually put the link to invite people. I'm just going to go to something and do something and uh, make that so it can come up in the in the chat room. Uh, just excuse me for a minute. All right, so there, let me get this right. Let's just scan through here. Is there any new Zoom meeting links yet? Uh, let's see what we've got. Susie said, uh, what have we got? Disgrace Grace just said, no US Prime tonight. I knew it. Uh, Chevy Baby was too sketchy during the UK Prime meeting. Oh, well, that's good to know. Well, that doesn't mean we haven't got any good content. In fact, we've got some new content that come online. So first thing I want to do is I would like to just – get on to my own Zoom meeting and listen to my second, if I can turn that off before you hear echo. Oh, it's already turned off. Right, so now what I want to do is pop up the chat and I'm going to make the chat box pop. Here it is. Pop out the chat. Now I can get rid of the double screen and I'm back to normal. So now what I want to do is I want to invite you guys to join me if you like, because I need a reader, and I know you're working, Rob. What do you have a job for? I haven't got one. Okay, so you can telephone. I might put a few telephones to make it more interesting. And I'll say call in 
to the show. Um, um, see, and I'll post that. All right. So there you go. There's the, the link to the meeting that we're in right now, and I'll pin that at the top. So anyone that comes here, you're more than welcome to join us. Now, I mean anyone. If you've been – we're currently looking for someone who wants to tell their story, who lives in Australia, one of the uh, companies, and they want uh, – what am I trying to say? They want – someone to tell their story. So it's a chance for you to actually be on mainstream TV. And um, this might sound a bit funny, but yours truly, well, I don't know if it's a carrot, but they have said they're going to send a film crew around and interview me, and they want to do this all by next week. But we need people to, who want to speak out and tell their story. Uh, as I said in the morning show, we had a guy that lost $100,000-plus to it all, and I was trying to convince him to talk, but he didn't like the company that was doing the media, unfortunately. Uh, so he's declined, but he might come around yet because I know he might be um, watching this. So, Jerry, I don't know you. Um, set up your camera, and you're more than welcome to ask a question if you want. Um, can I – where have you come from, Jerry? Um, you can use the private chat if you like. Jerry's gone. That's good. All right, so what I wanted to do – oh, no, I've forgotten it is I wanted to go to the Spanish meeting that was on today. And I did download it, but now I'm thinking I need to play it live. So I've got a backup of this meeting. I've got so many things to tell you, and I probably need to blurt out a few things first. The first thing the Venn meeting that was playing today was yesterday had a clip of Sam in the car doing an announcement. If anyone can find that clip, on any platform, please let me know. Because I, I have it, they were trying to get the original clip. That was after Sam found out that he got, um, after Sam found out, after Sam found out that he was being charged by America, the next morning we got him in the car talking about it. That He was basically saying big things happen to people who are doing big things in technology. So it was quite an interesting one, but that clip has all been removed from Venn's Facebook page. And also, I don't know if it's been reported as multi-level marketing spam and it's been removed, or the people that are running Venn at the moment while Sam's trying to work out his life have removed it. This also should have got broadcasted onto um, Zoom at the same time, but it didn't seem to... I'll just put your mute there, Mike, uh, Mike Throttle, uh, Rob. So what I wanted to do, and I think it's worthwhile, is actually go into the Spanish meeting and show you some stuff. And, Rob, when you're ready, uh, are you have you packing stuff? Well, I know what you're doing. Are you? Can you talk as you – without your camera on? I can talk. Ah, good. So you can still work and talk and listen and, and contribute. Is that what I'm guessing? I can put on my Spanish accent. Oh, very good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring up um, a screen. Not that screen. I'm going to bring up a screen. Where's that screen? Oh, I have to share first. I'm, I know what I'm doing. I'm a bit fluff. I'm a bit, I must admit, Rob, I'm a bit, um, I'm a bit flustered today. It's a very hot weather. Oh, is that what it is? And I haven't had breakfast. <laughs> it could be that as well. If you had the weather is working on an empty stomach on YouTube, not good. Yeah, no, it's cool. Hey, can you um if you can you make to make it look prettier, can you turn your camera on and leave your mic on and that will make it look prettier on the stage? Because all I can see is that stupid um thingy. What's it called? The uh so down the bottom, just stop your cam. I wonder if I can do it for you. That might be interesting. No, 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 no don't touch it. Uh, <laughs> I don't, Edit name, edit mic settings, kick from studio, ban from studio. It's all Jesus. All right. So what have we got here? Well, so what I've got is Spanish meeting being played over here. But the most exciting part is we can actually have subtitles in English. And I'm hoping that I can get them looking pretty big. Oh, they're in English already. But I would love to make that even bigger. So what we had is we had the Spanish guy – because I can't say anus. I keep calling him anus, and I don't think it is really. Is it anus? What do we call him? We can call him many things, but today, Jonas. 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 Oh, why doesn't he change his name? It would be a lot easier for me. It's, it's a bit like Jonas, but we call it Jonas. Jonas. So Jonas. So it's sort of like, without being disrespectful, how can I make that roll off my tongue? 
Oh, hey, no. Your niece. You keep talking, Rob. We interrupt this call for an important announcement. Uh, we're talking about someone's back end uh, realizing an error in the payment method that seems that there were people who, although it was not premium, I received a 5% referral bonus. And then I realized that error and well, oh my goodness, they took very quick in Spanish. I don't know if Ernesto, you could confirm. I don't know if I haven't had a yet chance to enter the truth or someone is already there at 100 breath. <gasps> Oh, oh, this is brilliant, actually. So what, what you're doing there, Rob, is fantastic. Thank you very much. I know you're a busy chap. Um, but what's re really good about this is this is the meeting. The guy came onto our meeting today, and then he decided half an hour afterwards, he lit up this and went live. And what they're trying to convince people here is the fact that Sam has left is a good thing, and they don't need him to carry on with the Ponzi scheme. And Sammy, that's... come back, come back, come back. He's gone. Yeah, you there? Yeah. Is that good, my, my friend? Hey, do you need some music for your Spanish accent? I don't know, maybe. You sure? Uh, <laughs> All right, I think it'll be distracting to be honest. But anyway, we have music there if needed. All right, so let's go there. Let's go there, eh? You tell me if I need to pause. Oh, which one? <laughs> okay. The important. I hope not the end of my. So I, I hope not the end. They don't tell me again. I haven't boxed this very well, Rob. That's my concern. No, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. So why don't you? Have, you haven't watched this either, but I have watched this, and I, they're, they're going to do a graph, and they're going to show you the timeline where they believe that Sam left the party and, um, you know, and that that's ex the exciting part about this. And obviously we've found a way to translate the Spanish into English and Rob's our best reader. So he got the job today. <laughs> Before you start, can I ask a Susie, Susie, one a question, Susie, if you were listening to the UK prime this morning, um, did you not hear that someone said about a 30% trade? Wow. That's, she's not here. Hey, Rob, somebody in the I'm chat okay. room just said something that I think you should answer. Please provide your evidence, not gossip. Do you really think we're providing gossip? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, oh, real. oh I mean, sorry. Yeah. I'm not supposed to say that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, really? I mean, what? this isn't gossip. I mean, what? do you think I'm a policeman? Do you think I'm the FBI? Do you think I'm the IRS? Do you think I'm ATO? Do you think I'm... Uh, the IRD, whatever it is. I mean, we we have the big, big, biggest jigsaw puzzle of information than anybody I know. We have been following these guys for two years. We have watched patterns of criminal activities, for the use of a better word. And you want me to just sit here and say to you, on the 23rd of December, uh, Sam Lee transferred $7.2 million from this platform to this platform that he gathered from Mary Poppins, Jerry Bogg, um, Susie Self, or <laughs> anyone, Crypto G, and that's where the criminal activity is. Is that the facts you want me to come out with? And what, yeah. what, yes, what please. I, okay. <laughs> right. So, what am I meant to do? So, we've got this Spanish guy, Anus. I'm going to call him Anus. Who's Jonas? Jonas. Jonas. Jonas has bought 10 nodes worth $27,000 each. Oh, my goodness. What the? Right. I know. <laughs> So we need more. You know how many donkeys that can buy in Lithuania? So this Spanish guy has has invested two hundred seventy thousand dollars with a guy that doesn't have a last name. Today, oh, got no last name. Chavez, baby. Oh no way! I thought baby was his last name, Mister Baby, CEO. No, 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 different guy. So, oh. so today. He misspelt what he thought his last name was, and I corrected him. So now he's using his last name like he owns it like a bitch. Uh, is that the right one? Owns it like a boss. <laughs> it's just better. <laughs> Are you talking yeah. about Anwar, Anwar, something like that? Yeah, um, Anwar. Yeah. So, um, so now, now he knows his Chavez's last Would you give somebody $270,000 and then wonder what their last name is? Uh, I can I can answer that one very easily. No, I do not have two hundred and seventy thousand uh, dollar. Yeah, uh, there was a rumor that Sam Lee and Chavez were married. 
okay. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> that might be what he's talking about. <clears throat> Gossip. But unfortunately, Queen's, whatever your name is, Queen's Anu um, comment was before that one. But no, I haven't heard that rumor. But I have, I did find out that Sam Lee had four mistresses and he did get married, not legally, but to a lady about 15 months ago in Thailand, which is when they co happened to open up the blockchain center in Thailand and Bangkok. So I heard all that stuff. But I have not heard that Chavez and Sam got married. No, I think that's a wee bit over the top, that one. But hey, there's always room for error. And there's my, my battery. Right. And then we'd like to see the photographic evidence of that one being consummated. <laughs> no, we wouldn't, Rob. No, we wouldn't. Yeah. Oh, I took Queen Asando, someone using my name in the chat room, said the evidence is published all over the internet. Read the charges. Are you so confused? Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so I've just changed the battery, turn the battery on, camera's back to normal. Yeah, so no, it's hard to find evidence, but we have actually been talking to, uh, well, I literally have had meetings with government organisations, okay? And the men in black, I call them out of respect, and I don't want to tell them everything. And obviously, um, yesterday I got contacted by two media companies, and they want the story. And I'm giving them the story. I also give them back in proof of all the archives um, I want. So I'm just out of curiosity for the guy that just said that, what evidence have you got? Um, let me show you something a bit weird that you probably won't see every day. Um, I'll get that Are one. Are you going to take your clothes off as well, Daniel? Uh, no, no, I won't do that, Rob. I will keep this I don't on. see that every day. Uh, right. So this this is uh, just a quick flash here. Don't know you don't. Oh, no. A quick flash. There we go. So here is a database, right? In persons of interest, you'll see that I've got over 150 people's names and details. So in using Sam Lee as an example, um, and let's say I, I go in here, I, I've got you know a little bit of information here, but mainly information. If I go into images, I've got screenshots of him with his mum, his sister, his wedding photos, his children, his old business partners, checks for a million dollars that bounced. Uh, and then on the bottom, uh, videos of married. Uh, I've got recordings of WhatsApp messages, conversations I've had with Sam Lee. I've got his uh, photos of him growing up at school. I've got um, his first job when he used to be a, a car salesman. Here he is. That's Sam Lee right there as a car salesman. So we have and what a database. Are you selling? Is that Honda? Yeah, it is. Of course. Oh, yeah, excellent. Nice it. car. He must be a reputable salesman. Yep. And there's photos of him when they were getting interviewed um, in the blockchain center with Ryan Jew, um, you know, and all this sort of stuff. So let's not bore you with that. But we do have a lot more than the average beer. And I'm not listening to YouTube videos and repeating jargon. People listen to my videos and yeah, act what's on up, what I say. That's how it is. What's up, boo boo? Um, right, so should we carry on? Um, I just need uh, to we make should carry on, but before you carry on, yes, I can tell you breaking news, drum roll, please. <laughs> BTCC dropped below $68. Oh, did it now? That's um, you've just that's actually Susie's job, Rob. I know, Susie say BTCC equals 67 cent. down, 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 and not oh. in a good way. Down, down, down. But she hasn't posted. Oh, there she has. Oh, my God. Yes. That's exciting. Look at that. 67.98. Hold it. Coming in hot. Everything Susie does is hot. <laughs> We're destroying this company. We really are. We're really destroying them. It's just so good. Um, it's very, very exciting. Um, I was just on the phone to somebody of importance. That's why I was late, even though I said I was going to press record. Uh, and this this particular company that we're looking at right here, just to say it's in the toaster, okay? <laughs> so I want to – this is why I went live, because I want to show that these guys think they aren't connected to Sam Lee, but they're all puppets. And what was Giannis's role when I talked Giannis. to you? Hey, Uni? Giannis. Giannis's role. What's his role in all this? To keep it all going, isn't it? He to throw the stick. He throws the stick. Yep. Yeah. All right. So let's carry on with these words. 
I hope not in the end. Tell me again. Look, but we, oh my God, it speaks so quick, slow and dare, wow. because I'm not going to say it right now. Is that <gasps> how do you okay. know if you see the Rob, Rob? I can slow it down. I didn't <gasps> realize I had it fast. So let's go again. Here you go. How do you know if you see the boomerang group or surely if you are in any boomerang group, you are going to see that there are people <gasps> are very happy trading. Okay, so why are right. they happy? Why do you think they're happy, Rob? Well, well, they are probably going on and they're using their um, what what they've done uh, flash alone uh, to make our money. But interesting, on uh, this morning a meeting, they uh, interview a guy who who say now don't quote me on this because I make mistakes. I not. Smart I have a person. disclaimer. I have a disclaimer. You can say whatever you like. This is just entertainment, Rob. Oh, I can't say anything. I like. <laughs> you don't love me anymore. Uh, but yeah. They're talking to a guy who want to make a, a trades. Uh, I thought that they just say a thirty percent. A Susie say maybe up to forty percent. Uh, my my accent going Russian now, but never mind. But if you go on top trades on uh, beta dot boomerang dot trade top trade uh, thirty dollar. But only two point six eight eight one percent, and that's the uh, most by point three percent. All right, I know where you're going with this, Rob. So what you're basically saying, they're claiming that their top trade isn't their top trade isn't reflecting what the data is on their website. No, what what they say on the meeting this morning. It's loading. Yep. It's loading. <laughs> Remember, this is lightning fast arbitration software here. This is cutting edge. Yeah. So the top trade is oh, there it is there profit. <coughs> so what's yeah, the hell? Profit thirty dollar, not thirty percent. Uh, oh, how much did they bet? Zero point five fifty cents. No, the borrowed amount was fifty cents. Oh, I think it's. Look, oh, they got, yeah, I don't know. Well, that can't be right. So fifty. So all these low trades seem to be getting the most. So I reckon they've got a bug with their system. They better have a yarn to their white label provider. But that's fifty cents. So somebody borrowed fifty cents of an arbitrage trade, and no, then that point, no point five of width, whatever width, 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 width. <laughs> The oh wait on no with good grief with is worth two thousand three hundred fifteen dollars no two thousand two hundred eighty four right now eighty three right now so there's eleven hundred dollars is that what they got no that that trade amount that point five of a with is actually oh. the equivalent of trading um, spending eleven hundred dollars about eleven hundred forty bucks. Oh, it's above my pay scale because it actually hurts my brain. Now I've stuffed up because that doesn't make sense to me because why am I seeing 0 0.50? Yeah, because yeah, because you're saying half of one width, but a full width is worth $2,283 at the moment. All right, so oh, that okay. trade was for 1100 well, roughly $1,140. And they right, made so 30 that up again, hopefully. Here we go. And then they so run out of money. Right, so that borrowed amount was for width. And yeah. width, you have to use buy width to do that trade. But the, the price of width, if that was half of a Bitcoin, for example, that would be $40,000 or, or, or whatever half a Bitcoin is at the moment. Yeah. Is that, I got you. Oh, I see. That makes more sense. All right, I've just learned something. After all these years, you know, it's taken years. All right, so that was 30% trade. And you said it wasn't there, but there it is right there. Did they just put it there? No, 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 no. They said 30%. Not $30 profit, 30%. Uh, oh, mate, they're probably doing it live and they just got it Maybe wrong. they're only, what, 1,300% um, out. That's all. Yeah. Hey, we've got a noise for Sam. There we go. Somebody just said, I can't wait to see Sam thrown into Australia jail to serve time. 
we will raise some money for Danny to go visit him. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Loving that. I can't wait for the holiday, guys. Can I get a, some clothes to go with it, with the stripes? You know, the, the jailbird costume? Wouldn't that be funny? Wow, that would be f funny, yes. I've, I actually, I tell you what, I honestly have thought about the day that happens. That's funny. I love it. Love it. Um, right. So let's, um, so we're, okay. So they made $30 profit, not 30% profit, even though they proclaimed it to the world that this is an amazing system. Other flaws here, Rob, is one of the ones that you said, I know you're a, a Mexican, but you said, why, <laughs> why have, and this is really important to grasp this, guys, you buy a $10,000 boomerang license, and then on the 1st of March, they're going to release the $3 million worth of flash loan money so you can go do some arbitrating. They don't, though. They give you 50000 so you can show off to your friends how wonderful this is, and they let you trade. And if you work like a dirty beaver, you can probably literally potentially get $800 back from your $10,000 investment right now. And it will, they will literally manually pay money from a wallet address that we have full visibility on. We can see the transaction and they're, they're paying you into your MetaMask wallet manually, not connected to anything to do with arbitrage trading. That's what we've discovered with Crypto G's uh, videos. Rob's argument is if this is a legitimate platform, why wouldn't they just release all the money um, now and let you trade with a better program? Because if they did, they could potentially have to pay out $30,000 for 10000 in. They would have to pay 30000 out because it's all smoke and mirrors. So what they've decided to do instead is just give them a taste of arbitrage money, which is all smoke and mirrors, and that's true. Is that – do I explain that good enough, you reckon? Well, I wasn't making any aspersion, but what I was saying is that not, if people have, have purchased a license and that – why not allow them to have access to all of the flash loan that that license allows them to have right at the start? Like, what is the beta or alpha testing got to do with forcing them to operate on a small amount of flash loan until an arbitrary time in the future, like March the 1st? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty straightforward. And, and because yeah, it's like if it's working, yeah. like it's either working now or it's not. It's working, and it's up to people to spend their money or not spend their money. I would have thought, but and, and instead, everybody's been encouraged to make low trades. And if you look at those top trades, the well, apart from that with one, which is about eleven hundred bucks equivalent. All the others are pretty low, like two hundred bucks is about the highest, I think. Well, oh, to me, that that to me that actually looks like a, an error that they will be trying to fix. It's like when we saw the transaction for nine dollars ninety nine cents, and they somebody made ninety one dollars profit out of a transaction for nine dollars ninety nine cents, and then we saw another one for ninety nine dollars. Maybe the nines are the problems, <laughs> and then they managed to make eight hundred and ninety nine dollars out of the uh, one transaction. So here's another. Well, th this one's actually bigger, though, isn't it? This one isn't like that, isn't it? They they put some serious money down, did they? But they only made thirty dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they've spent a lot of money there. Yeah, you know, like to make thirty dollars, they've they've invested a, a round about eleven hundred and forty bucks. Right. Oh, up with the speed now. Well, you should do. It. You should. Have you thought about becoming a YouTuber and doing your own YouTube videos? Because you. No. no, I wouldn't either, Rob. You'd probably take my limelight, and I'd lose my audience. <laughs> All right, so that's really cool. Uh, right, Susie Stealth picked up on that as well. We've got quite a few chats in the chat room. You're more than welcome to join us on stage if you like. But I think we go back to the Spanish meeting because this actually was a real hoot. And Richard, where are you? Oh, he's gone to bed. He was driving for 15 hours. Well, he's been up for 15 hours, I should say. All right, we're very happy with trading like crazy, receiving percentages and doing, even I can read, wonderful things. In fact, honest today, I oh, hold it. I'm not saying it. How do I say it in a Mexican accent? Spanish. Uh, well, yeah. what, what are we looking at? Oh, we've gone back to the words on the, under the video. Oh, sorry. Well, no, we're not. <laughs> you tell me to have all these tabs open. I've got them open. Danny, the he, the crypto Ponzi scheme avenger, the trained professional. He never gets a, the tech wrong. No. No. Now you're, 
Are you reading this in a Spanish accent? Here we go. I am. Wonderful things. In fact, honest today, he sent us a screenshot with pure operations of 4%. Yeah. See, you're almost 5%. So where the hell are they on the top trades? Sorry, I add that in. One after another. <laughs> and you will say, wow, how cool. It's but so there cool. is people in Jesus. our team, I will also say a large part that for some reason have not been able to make transactions. Now I'm going into Chinese. They <laughs> fail for whatever reason. They, this could be French. They say that the contract contact is not connected, that boomerang is broken, does not execute, that the limit, there's a limit of 1500 it turns out that when it does execute it goes ex execute it says that it is no limit no limit so for wow. those people who are very happy trading you <laughs> 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 mean four in five percent per transaction i have all right, Rob. The I reckon bad I think news we will do. is that That's hold it. on, the bad news is coming. Is that the app is going to go into maintenance <gasps> <gasps> oh, from tomorrow we... until Sunday, I think it is. Oh my god, really? Hey Rob, I reckon we need to speed this up. You talk normally and read it like a mother mofo. A mofo oh, yeah, yeah. I, I know what's in uh, so you ready? We're gonna practice your speeding rules. We'll go normal. <laughs> So but this is normal speed. Are you ready? Yep. Go. Until Monday. Hey, I don't know. It's going to go away. They're not going to disappear. They're going to be able to. And there's a great piece of writing there that they've written about everything that they're going to do on Thursday. They're going to do this on Friday. They're going to do this on Saturday. They're going to do this on Sunday. They're going to do this because if they don't do that, then they are going to continue with the same story that there are people in the network, some of them who make many good transactions and others who have not been able to do anything at all, which is definitely not correct. So I am very happy, very happy that this that this problem is going to be solved because I understand the frustration of those people seeing others doing crazy operations and they can do one. So they will understand that this is so important to be done. And I think that the way it's going to be done, what is, what is it wow. called? Solving all those problems first. The reason why that is being done has also been full stop. Uh, thanks to all those, those people who have reported support. We have told you hug and wow, oh, I say support. There, well, thanks okay. too. So we've, got oh. the, we've got the gist of what they're saying. I don't think we need to torture ourselves. But the part that I really wanted you to see is this part here, Rob. And um, I want you to, you love graph. Or what do you call them? Graphs. Graphs. Well, here's a graph explaining the timeline. So if this is too fast, we'll stop it. But have a wee look. Is that uh, 20 BC? I died 20, it sounded like to me. <laughs> Remember the Spanish handwriting, I presume. In fact, it wasn't even called Boomerang. What name gave it? And after December the 20th was when we had the UI, which is hand. the user interface. This and well, a, they told us, look until March the 1st, March the 1st. It's going to be the uh, beta. What's the name of the beta stage? Uh, okay. What does that mean? Test rehearsal goes away. Maintenance test rehearsal goes away. Maintenance test and rehearsal improvements. Script goes away. Maintenance test improvements. Script day. We see that. How to vote? And so on until the first of. <sighs> oh my goodness! Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I think I think he's planted grass. Yeah, I think it's a tree. And he's, right, and he's stuck a few tomatoes in there, and yeah. he's put up a tent, and it's got like a hammock. And yeah. if you pour it with heaps of BTCC and USDT, it will grow well. Okay, so this alpha thing, they're drawing a picture about the alpha, 100K open. Was that meant to be 10K? Doesn't make, it can't be 100, 100K. 100K. Oh, 
Oh, is that is that the number of people? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I, is that the number of licenses? Oh, I think you could be right. Yeah, I think they were actually talk. They did talk something about it being limited. And a hundred percent flash loan, but that's wrong because it's it's. Yeah, I don't, don't know what they're talking about there. Hmm. Twenty five million something. Twenty five clicks per second. Ah, oh, 25,000 clicks per second at the stage. They want the user experience to be very, very good that there are very few interruptions and that it works your right. name and way because remember that after all these tests, that stage that we call MVP will come. All right. Most valuable product or something? Yeah. Most viable product. What's he doing here? Is this, a, this, this is lawn now. Maybe he's got oh, a well, sun. I'm talking about an ICO for this as well. A what? They're talking about an ICO, an initial coin offering. There's going to be a boomerang coin or something. Oh, my God. This keeps stringing them along with new shit. So I think we get the idea of that, that graph. It's not really the one I was had in mind, but let's go through. So they did discuss this, and I'd love to know what they said about this disclaimer because this is new 24 hours ago, and I'd like to know why they think that this is – you're my translator, Rob. I'd like to know why they actually think – um, Josh says, I think the main thing that means we need some time to skim more money off ourselves, but don't worry, be happy, <laughs> be happy about that. <laughs> if you're yeah. feeling sad and blue and there's be no boomeranging to do, don't worry, be, be happy. happy. My bananas, if you're okay, feeling in a rut, harvest some coin, <laughs> yeah. So we listened to all this. This is a disclaimer that is on the page. DD, I wonder if it's DD's worse than, I wonder if that's trying to, him trying to say Danny D. Heck. DD, DD was, oh, must be we are also Toshi. I don't know. That says that this is a, doc, a document, is a document simply where Mr. Shavaz, the CEO, let's say responsible. Oh, really? Is that what we got out of that document? So basically, Chavez is saying he's responsible for anything that goes wrong, so don't worry. Oh, I, don't, worry. I don't know that he is, is he? Um, well, that's what he looked like he, he just said, whether that's what he's insinuating. Let's have a look. I'll, hold on. I'm just going to see if I can bring that up somewhere. Somewhere that I can actually read it properly. Well, I can bring it up if you want. Does that help? Uh, no, I'll, I'll have it here somewhere. I'll beat you. I can beat you. You can't because I've found it. <clears throat> hey, don't uh, you legal disclaimer, it. we're all Satoshi. This document serves as a legal disclaimer and is issued by Chavez, the Chief Executive Officer CEO of We Are All Satoshi, W-A-A-S. For by reading that by reading this disclaimer, you acknowledge and agree to the terms. Well, I can't read it. I definitely can't read it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read it. Richard, are you out of here? Uh oh, here's trouble. No outburst, Richard. <laughs> Just telling Richard off before he gets here. <laughs> um, so were you going to read that? Was that just a, a little wee story? No, well, I can't. I can't read it. Like, like if this is actually a legal a disclaimer, a legal document, if I read it, then I am agreeing right. to the terms right. outlined right. herein. Hi, Chavez. In my but capacity as the it. CEO <laughs> of We Are All Satoshi Was, declare that both myself and the company are involved in the direct selling of products and services globally within the community. Two, absence of affiliation with Samly. This disclaimer is intended to explicitly state that We Are All Satoshi Was, its products and associated services have no affiliation, connection, or involvement with Samly. Three, Far Sole out. responsibility and management, the technology, finances, and overall management of We Are All Satoshi Was, including its operations, are under the solid... Hey, hey, this is really crazy, man. Hey, don't worry. The whole company is under the sole administration of Jack. And... Notice, yeah. notice, no board of trustees. Yes. Uh, yeah, that was promised. They all yeah, ran away. Well, 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 that number three says Chavez and the in-house tech thing. Hold it. Don't read it, Rob. We don't need you to read it. We don't want you to be liable. All right? 
Um, the other one is no affiliation involved with Sam Lee. Now, that that's what we're doing this meeting for today, guys. We really wanted to make it plainly clear that there's no way in hell there's no affiliation here because all the systems, all the social medias, all the money that's currently in the plots have all been derived. You know, because theoretically, there's $4.2 million in the Vault Horizon that was saved when Sam was in the house. And that money theoretically has been kept under lock and key under Chavez's welfare with the washer bank. So that money's all been collected when Sam Lee was in charge. That's the washer so bank? The, uh, what was it? The cashier bank. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Shut up, Rod. Make fun of me. Make me cry. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, how can they say there's no affiliation? Um, with yeah. The only money that's available is all from bloody um, historical stuff. If there is money there, which I don't think there is, but if, if, if. <sighs> yeah. Now, I wonder what would happen if you stuck this into perplexity and asked them to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bob. Damn, I hate when you do things like that. You tell read me to stay focused and look at you. Can I read it as Sam Lee and then as Sam Lee liable? I loved your accent the other day, um, Bob. It was freaking amazing. Um, <laughs> what, what did you say, Rob? Explain it. What? Ask it. Oh, can you explain no, this? Just, uh, well, I, I don't know how you'd word it. Just, you know, like, um, is this a properly the, written legal disclaimer? Oh, Is this a legal disclaimer? Okay, here we go. Question. Wait, wait, wait. Is this a professional legal disclaimer and should I sign it? Can you please outline any issues I could have if I signed to agree with this disclaimer? How's that sound? Something like that? Yes. Fine. Oh, yeah. let's, go. let's see what it says. A red light. <laughs> no, I wrote uh, oh, this earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is not possible to determine whether this is a professional legal disclaimer without more information about the context and purpose of the document. However, based on the search results provided, there are concerns about the credibility of We Are All Satoshi Was and its CEO, family. The California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation has issued a desist and refrain order against Was and Sam Lee for fraudulent activities. One, two, full stop. Additionally, there are reports of WAS being involved in a Ponzi scheme. Three. Full stop. <laughs> Therefore, it is advisable to exercise caution before signing any document related to WAS uh, or Samley. It is recommended to seek legal advice before signing any legal document to ensure that you fully understand the terms and potential consequences. Oh, there you go. Does that answer it? Do you know what? Do you know what? What was that, Lisa? Calm as a bitch, you know. <laughs> oh, I love it when I you need a Samley. Just legal disclaimer. Karma is a bitch. I'll read it as Nandy. I'll read it as Nandy. Then she's responsible, right? Yeah. Hey, anyone want a burrito? There's some on the screen. Thanks, Susie Stealth. <laughs> Those disclaimers are not worth the paper they're written on. Well, it's digital. <laughs> Why is it not written on paper? Wait, wait, wait. He must have saw, saw Nanny's room, and that's how he copied it. From vent, he must have said, Oh, I actually tell you what, that's actually a very valid point. Let's just do a laugh. Um, <laughs> let's find some common paragraph and see where he copied it from. Just a, uh, what have we got? Oh, oh, perhaps the first paragraph, we'll just chuck that into a search engine for a laugh because that would be funny. If we found it because he's just changed the names on it. Uh, oh, look, is it uh, first one is. A, a, the site that comes up as a template, a disclaimer template. <laughs> when I <switch> it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's have a look. It might be quite good. And it's the 4th of October, 2023. So it's not too old. There you go. Look, you can just put your name in there. Um, all this stuff. What a crack up. Anyway, what I wanted to do is we want to get to this um, other one. We just want you to speak in Spanish for a little bit longer, Rob. No problemo. Uh, he makes it very clear in black and white. Oh, we, no. uh, I, got an, I got an idea. We might just listen to his voice so you get the accent right. Services, no affiliation or connection, or any type of 
a, a relationship with the Lord family and take <laughs> responsibility of management, so the, the technology, finance, and everything. And he's do it with the we as touchy his oh, management, okay. including operations uh, and the, the sort of administration of Chavez and his in house take that is important and then i will uh, explain that there is enough. also many enough. interesting things you've done a good job there i think what the point of this exercise is that they're trying to distance themselves away from sam lee and they're basically saying chavis with no name is in charge of the company now going forward and that they're, they're trying to he's trying to preach this to his community so i reckon we've done the disclaimer because we don't want to be here all day we put up the nice video. We have a Sam and um, Chavez in the, the room saying, hi, Sam. Wait, wait, you see this? that one where he's sweating bolts and Sam has no AC on? No. Do you see that there. video? No. Yeah, is that the one on the wedding day? I don't know. Can the people <laughs> validate that one? <laughs> um, yeah. I did, you, oh, yeah. But it's in white. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, now this is the this is the part where I sort of wanted to play because this is the timeline of where they think that they're not associated with Sam Lee. So <laughs> just keep, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's watch the drawing. Read along, Rob. Sam Lee. <laughs> Sam Lee. Sam Lee. Well, we don't oh, understand. Uh, what what he did had a great reputation. A great reputation. Nobody can. Do you know what? this? The guy. <laughs> Scammer <laughs> handbook. Okay. Head. Head. It never had a great. Oh, he did have a great reputation before he went mental. What is that before you started drinking or? Yeah. During. Okay, so basically everything before 2014. Uh, projects. Platforms he was called the yeah, um, Prince of Blockchain. Um, they've removed, you know, they removed that 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 prime time video. Okay, yep. Um, blockchain is what I'd else? love to do. You know what? I'd love to be a fly on the wall. I've got better things I'd love to be, but if you want to be a fly on the wall, Lisa, <laughs> that's fine with me. No, I want to. <laughs> Just to hear what they're saying, I bet they're cussing us out. They're not lying, are they? Huh? They're not lying. Are no, they? They're not. Are they? All right. Let's have a look. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Oh, I wonder the Spanish crew. Imagine that. They're trying to steal the All of a sudden, instead of Ponzi scheme after Ponzi scheme trying to steal the community, then it's Ponzi scheme and the crypto Ponzi scheme Avengers. Let's do a stream at the same time so we can take their audience. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay, we just flipped over to the. I want to find Tammy's link again so we could go in there. See so we'll, so what we'll, she's talking. Hey, Bob, you're a genius, mate, because for seven days, these idiots haven't been able to stream live. Congratulations. <laughs> That's, I'll, I'll give you 95% of the credit. <laughs> Oh, that is the, so best was, the best thing when I was in the Indian Zoom this morning, he saw yep. Trusty Loops in there and he knows that's me. <laughs> so that's when oh. people started. Uh, that's when I think the other guy started talking to him. He's like, uh, like, end it, end it, end it. And he's like, I'll take a few more questions. And you just yep. see my hand kept going up like, come on, call on me. I had two hands going up. One as Mike Lincoln and the other as Trusty Loops. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just looking at the Bitcoin one because we have actually got um, a video 22 hours ago. What's the, So this is the one that we're looking at at the moment. That's so probably I don't from know last night. I bet that's from last night then. Yeah. This one here was five, six hours ago, I think. Seven hours ago now. All right. I've been streaming too long. So, yeah, if, so this... If, this if, if, if Trey shits the uh, guy, then, yeah, th that's from last night. And I was trying to post Grace's phone number while because Trisha has the worst connection. So yeah. it makes it easy to share stuff on the screen while he's trying to erase it. <laughs> yeah, but um, you got to, I mean, it's probably, it's a wee bit hard with Trisha because I, hold it, Trash, 
Uh, I've got something I want to show you guys. Um, have you seen where Tresha lives? Hmm. Um, and he has okay. bad internet? Jeez, well, he must no, be getting no, I'll, show you, I'll show you where Tresha lives. Um, where is he? Uh, did we open that up? Millions of dollars. Looking for it's, um, the link. Uh, oh, there it is. So, yeah, so, th oh, no, that's not where he lives. Oh, yeah, this is where he lives. My, yeah, there it is. So I found his company address, okay, as you do. And uh, it's registered to this beautiful place. It's it's a paradise. Uh, uh, okay, you ready? You ready? This is where Trash yeah. specifically lives. It loads up. You ready? There we go. That's, that's the street. All right, and if you go to the right a little bit, you can see this is meant to be the property that his business was, or once upon a time was registered to. <coughs> I just popped I know, it's funny. Don't you die of laughter, Susie. Uh, Susie, sorry, Lisa, get that right. But notice something special about this. What's that? He's got cows or bulls <coughs> on the property. I mean, that's... Mm. That is pretty is it? I just popped downstairs. To shit. Okay. What are you saying? Whose property, whose property is it? Because I've just popped downstairs and I've just missed a bit. Oh, it's it's property. This is where it's If business. you open up your back door, turn left, walk about 20 metres and you'll see it. And then you see Coral. Oh, there's Carl's car, isn't it? Isn't he sleeping in the back of that van? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. Carl's in there. Oh, my God, there's my car. What the hell? Bob. Are you Ralph, what are you doing over there? Mate, they brought the neighbourhood down. <laughs> oh, there's, there's Trash It's Dad. Hello, Dada. Dada. Hello. That's and look, next to a neighbour wondering, wondering what all the sound of coins is. Yeah. But I did <laughs> notice there was a, um, there it is. That's his tuk tuk. Uh, that was his old one. And then he got a motorised one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So that's. No wonder, I, no wonder I hasn't answered my 80,000 emails yet. Yeah, I've got to do my emails today. And let's get on with this. So let's just have a quick look. This is what they were doing. They were trying to build a timeline to prove that Sam Lee's uh, has been cut <laughs> off and that there was no uh, hypertech group behind them. So the name of the venture capital, venture capital on Binance in 2016 is to say that on that is – I can't read this shit. Anyway, you, draw us a picture. <laughs> we like pictures. Um, I've got the complete timeline of Bitcoin Group back to 2014, if anyone ever wants that. Danny, you saw that Bitcoin Ronnie tried to run to Dubai? Was that to meet Chavez? He was trying to sell his vehicles to undercover people because he was selling up his assets to go to Dubai. Now, you've never heard this before, have you? <laughs> have you seen that video where he's got his Lamborghinis in his lounge sitting there behind him while he's watching his TV? And he's in a building that looks like it's like 50 stories high. He had an elevator. You for see on car. that list. Hey? You see on that list on the, oh, on the left hand column where it's got Amazon? Yeah, what's that about? Oh, Amazon Prime. Yeah. Well, apparently, well, unless I misread it last night, those screenshots weren't real. Uh, those screenshots weren't real. The Amazon Prime documentary did not happen. No way. They've removed it. No. Apparently, well, according to one one <laughs> website that I read last night, oh, they wow. took screenshots of two things, and one of them, I think, that's my disclaimer, I think was yep. the Amazon Prime documentary, was it? <laughs> oh, right. yeah, that's right. Yeah, apparently screenshots were fake. What's wow. I'm I'm just going to see if I can find that. Yep, thanks Great. for that. <laughs> Amazon would love to know that when there's being hosted on Amazon server, don't you think? Hey, Mr. Falapawapple, his name's there again. That guy, isn't that Mr.? Was that? No. What's um, Citibank got to do with a stable day, I think? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Was it stable day or claiming that they were connected with Citibank? Yes. Do you that? Yes, they did, didn't they? Oh, no one's yeah. brought that up again. I think Citibank wouldn't be very happy that. with that. I back last year. 
<laughs> Imagine that. Um, Susie, um, Susie says, oh, oh, Doctor, she's trying to get me to say the name, Kalabuba, Doctor Kalabuba, Kalabuba, Kalabada. Kalabada. Actually, she had me saying it like a thousand times, Kalabada. Kalabada. Well, you're doing better than me. You said you struggle pronouncing words, but you've knocked me out of the ballpark with that one. Um, so if you went to stable, let's just let's just humor this. All right. So if I go to stable, um, hold on. I think I found it. All right. Can you send me the link in the chat? We could bring it up. Uh, yep. Oh, oh wow. So oh, look at this, guys. Oh, yeah, stable opinion. Yep. I backed that one up. They're a nice telegram group. But look at this. You've got stable Deo, and they're, and they're pouting the fact that they've got the We Are All Satoshi um, link there. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that's that's a, a telltale all in itself right there okay so we're going to go to we're going to go live now see how we've got all these tabs open here rob <laughs> I, I, well i can't see but yeah i'll take oh, you anyway. it. there we go so what's this one about who's this telegram they, oh, these are I'm just trying to find it. it's, it's it's really i like them they're good news all right um so no, okay okay so if you uh where is it like, um, if you scroll down to where it's got in, in reality, stop. Stop in the name of love. Here we go. Yeah, all right. If you go it's two paragraphs cool. above where it says in reality and in, in bold there. So it according says, according to the SEC, Lee once told recruiters that Hypertech planned to list on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange by 2022. The yeah. securities regulator also alleged the pair. Sh all right, all right, so these are alleged claims. The security regulator also alleged the pair shared fake screenshots of several media appearances on CNN and and an Amazon Prime documentary called Next Blockchain to boost the firm's reputation. It's just incredible. That's pretty cool stuff, Rob. You're a very yeah. good investigator. That's amazing. I'm on to it, mate. I reckon. Yeah, I'm I took that article forward to Amazon and be like, hey, you know, the company that was on your servers pretend to be affiliated with you. What do you think of that? Yeah. Mm. That's Pretty. Good. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good stuff. Okay, then. So that's that. Um, um, yeah, yeah. All right. So let's go back to the stupid graph before we all die of boredom and just see if we can sort of use this video. So, uh, my friends, yeah. Um, Ralph, who was Ralph again? Oh. Humpkin, Humpkin. I don't know. Important in the world. Finance. Board. Sam, With of course. Sam. City, well, well, these people, because Sam is called the snake charmer. <laughs> um, Bob, you've got to do it in an in a, in a accent. Uh, you've got to have a family. Mexican <laughs> accent. All right, you, you try it again if you like. Take this, you ready? I'll help you out. Oh, wrong one. I don't know that one. Okay. Hey, amigo. Hey, amigo. Not because they quickly realized that Sam, he was just a gun talker and he didn't do anything. So the truth is that Citibank was never done. He never said the agreement with us today. And so much the well. <laughs> I am bad Mexican. I've spoken to Carl too much. <laughs> actually, actually, we lost focus there, didn't we? Because Danny got distracted by a news article given we're going to go back to here. And this this is on this website. They had that they were connected with um, Citibank, right? Yeah, so that's that, another picture of that. <laughs> yeah, well, let's just go back to the archive and let's just chuck it in here and just say, well, come on, guys. Well, let's show me your picture. And we have got um, show me your picture <laughs> because in here we will go back and we will look and actually see what the original timeline was. For we are all no stable day. Did they have a picture of Citibank or did they not? This is what we're about to see. This will take a few minutes to load, and now we'll fade the music out as we bring up the picture. Okay, so what we should see here is a picture of Citibank. Oh no way! Got robbed. Got robbed. <laughs> robbed. We got robbed. Oh, we're coming again. Uh, so that's interesting. But I think we we all know that that was connected, wasn't it? It's not going to load, is it? It's just going to do that. It piss me off. Um, 
Where's the sound gone? Everyone's gone quiet. Was it me going noisy? I've lost the sound, have we? Uh, I love the Wayback Machine. Why is my sound gone? Anyone else there? Speak to me. I'm here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so everyone's gone quiet. Um, yeah, so what I was trying to do is obviously go to the Wayback Machine. I know I live on the Wayback Machine, Susie. I think it's pretty cool. Um, but for some reason, things are flickering up and down on my screen like there's something wrong. So uh, perhaps we need to go back to the start because I think somebody approached Citibank and said, you guys aren't um, – you guys are lying. <laughs> And I think that's what happened. So let's see if we can find an old version of Stable Dale's website. Something's broken just a few minutes. Something don't know what's going wrong yet. I'm trying to work out stuff. I think I've got too many windows open, to be honest. Um, the future is now. There it is. Boom. There it is. Yep. That's that's proof in the pudding. So here they are claiming they had a connection with Citibank. Uh, and if you go to their new version of their website, you can see they've still got um, – and this here, oh, yeah, I remember this all now, because this logo here, this guy's meant to be Dr. He, – he's meant to be involved in human hey, trafficking. Dr. Cam Labity. Yeah. And Garrett swears black and blue that this guy's a good upstanding businessman, and so was Ralphie and Nick and Dr. KKKKK. And they're obviously Sam Lee. Yeah. So this was actually set up as a real estate company originally. That's what the guts of the matter was. And they only raised 200000 of all their efforts instead of $10 million what they needed to start a project off. So what I think he's trying to show here is the original company that was set up under Stable Deo, which everyone used to verify themselves with their KYC details, has now got no connection whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, it's like, let's go and commit a robbery with... Um, I don't know, Cadbury's chocolates. And then let's just change things slightly and pretend that we're not still Cadbury's chocolate just by changing our name and denying it. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so we've got hyperverse leaders. Um, people started showing their faces. Tech provider, a tech provider of tech provide services, which he wasn't. Sam doesn't provide any of that stuff. Well, Sam does provide that stuff because we've found the building he works out of and all these Ponzi schemes come out of the same place. Uh, doesn't have any of that. Possibly he is a pro possibly he is a programmer and he doesn't have an in-house. Sam walked around the streets telling everyone that he had five thousand staff and pointed out eight buildings that he said he owned, which we found out later were actually owned by a criminal that was in prison. We have a was, it doesn't have it. Tech provider, blah, blah, blah. The truth is it started in January and he started to promise that he was going to help the community. He told the community to fill out surveys in stable. Yes, any of you who are here surely know the story. And, and, and I know that it is slightly uncomfortable topic because it's difficult to know that this is too the same point we have some relationship with this character you have some relationship with sam jesus you're still pushing his company that he he's been kicked out of do you really think that chavez has got all the money that was in the vault horizon if there was any money there <laughs> i remember asking them about the vault horizon they said you don't understand what the vault is it's our security and i go well how's that going and all of a sudden the money disappeared from one vault to another on the same day that sam walked out the door and you can see all the transactions, but I think somebody managed to follow where the money went and set up another Vault Horizon. I don't know what happened there. You know, this, I don't want to speculate too much. Now I have this tremendous scammer. Now have that he now have that he is a tremendous scammer. It's not translating very well, but the truth is, oh, uh, I want to get that truth is. I just want to go. The, but the truth is, the guy knows how to do his things. The guy is very intelligent. Every day, even with everything, and that I am in chat here, he is and something or other. I don't know. This is boring as hell. Um, <laughs> it is pretty hard to follow, isn't it? 
but it's just words on the screen. So, hey, look, in short, watch this video if you want. Um, but basically, it's all in Spanish. We tried to make it easy for you by translating it to English. That's all cool. Um, we've got um, we've got a couple of new people in the chat room, haven't we? So welcome along. Feel free to ask any questions. Uh, what's this one? He also goes under the process of. We are also under process of legal case for Nepal. Oh, good on you guys. You're one of the team. I've been in that your chat room and I've talked on your Zoom meetings, haven't I? Introduce Hyperverse to Nepal. Yeah, you would. Yeah, if you ever have anyone that wants to speak out, let me know. And the other thing, if you're Australian and you want to tell your story, I've got a, a large media company wants to speak to people that have lost all their details. So welcome along. Nice to have you here. We have had you here before now. Remember that? Does um, the, any of the Australians just have one request? Say you want to visit Carl when you go visit him. <laughs> yeah. Well, I rang them all yesterday, every single one of them. I'm going to ring them all now, right? <laughs> I'll do, a, I'll do a great phone call. Can I'll you imagine you Carl with the spotlight in his window? Oh my God. Yeah, I'm going to ring them all on. Let's just do audio. Let's see if they, they um, answer. I'm like, hey, Carl, baby, you remember me? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Should ring through. So I've, rang, I've got all of them on speed dial. I've got a group, group telephone call. It's not making any noise, though. It says waiting, so it must be ringing. I don't know why it's not making a sound. Carl oh, might not be able to afford his phone bill with it being cut off from Binance. So have you seen any of these scoundrels in, <laughs> in the Zoom meetings? I haven't been in the Aussie one. Susie, have you been in the Aussie one? No, she's not. Oh, she is. She's listening. Um, where's this video? Ah, oh, so no one answered. See, they never answer my phone calls anymore. I feel unloved. You yeah, you don't have the you don't have the voice changing skills of Bob. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Is that you, Carl? Are you there? I know that'd be cool. That's my next thing. I want a voice changer. Forget about donating to the show and help make me uh, make me in the lifestyle become a customer. Get me a voice changer. That'd be quite cool. Uh, where is this video? Where's this video? I saw this. Oh, I should have kept that buzzer. Carl. I should have kept that that screen going while I was playing around here uh, so people can read it. What have we got? Where's the video? No. I what? saw the Future Trends logo. That is Doctor's Company. Oh, yeah, I've seen that before too. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. I'm not very good at that. Oh, the Future. She must be some. I assume that's Susie who's talking about the Future Trends. Yep, that's right. That's um, Dr. DeVarsal's. But what's uh, weird is they're posting stuff like, hey, this guy was like, they posted when Bitcoin Rodney was arrested, when Sam L the Sam Lee articles came out. So I'm like, I don't understand the purpose of the, their Telegram group yet. Like, is it just to inform on other criminals or like, like a oh, news know. distribution center kind of thing? Look at this. He's drawing a diagram showing people that video look was a Ponzi scheme. So you got to ask the question: the video look was a Ponzi scheme, and Sam started it. So then he decided to start up a legitimate company called We Are All Satoshi at the same time, and run it side by side each other. And one was a Ponzi scheme, and the other one wasn't a Ponzi scheme. And and then if you go back to looking right back to Hyper Fund, Hyperverse, Hyper Nation. Um, Sam's history would show that he's been promoting all these other Ponzi schemes. And all of a sudden, he's decided to start up We Are All Satoshi and just walk away from it, leave the, the keys to the crypto on the table. Chavez comes in, takes his whole company, and walks off with it. And now he says, they're saying that Vidilok Beta was a Ponzi scheme, and it was Sam Lee's. So now they've got a different color pen out. What's he going to say this time? Was 2.0. <laughs> Was set up before. Oh, I see. So was there a was one? Oh, uh, so was that what 2023 20, is? Bad so this is a completely separate company now, isn't it? That's what they're saying. It's completely separate because we we kept the same name, but we changed it to version two. <laughs> and then we've got like numerous PowerPoint presentations where we've been flogging it right up to like four weeks ago. Uh, you know, and they've been pouting the same information, exactly the same information. And now they say that version two is a completely different company. This is just ridiculous. Richard's even waking up. Richard's pissed off. Look, here he comes. Let's go. <laughs> no, no. 
Let's go. Pissed off. Pissed off about what? Oh, well, yeah. he must have just woke up. <laughs> the computer, and they're trying to say that because they've renamed the company from We Are All Satoshi to We Are All Satoshi Version Two, it's a completely separate company. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's why I want you to have a game plan for the CNBCs of the world, the Guardians of the world, so hey, you hey, know. Hey, 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 don't mention names of any more. <laughs> we, we need to keep it surprising. Okay, we'll call. Oh, oh we're live. Right. Forgot. The right. intel we share when the meeting's not live needs to be kept private. Jesus. We'll call it Company A, Company B, Company C. Yeah. It, yeah, and they're right. all they're all in my boomerang soup, so you cannot take my alphabet out of my soup. Yeah, that's right. That's good. Now you've been trained. How are you, Richard? Did you have a bit of a sleep? <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't see me. Oh, uh, we can. We're just we're just looking around at the moment. And Danny, make sure you mention Zoom in every single interview. Oh, I am. I'm going to say there's an easy solution to all this. If Zoom yes. enforced their own policies and didn't allow the public to um, right. do it for them, we would be able to save a lot of people from suicidal thoughts and suicidal, um, you know, dying by suicide. And they'll go, oh, that's a bit harsh. And I go, no, it's not. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. And boom, I'll be off, mate. And then we won't be hanging on to the tail of the dragon. Once again, we'll be on the dragon's shoulders plundering it anyway that's right where's the video no video where's oh. this video i was i was excelled from the aussie so i said no aussie i mean susie what did you do you, you i i'm not even i have been exiled and carl probably hates me but like especially now with this hundred thousand emails hundred fifty thousand <laughs> hundred fifty thousand i'm up to all oh, right this is really good i mean that would be quite painful wouldn't it yeah because <laughs> you could only delete a hundred at a time on google uh, so if we went to YouTube, just by these players, <laughs> uh, I'm just curious now. So looking at Graham, what what is he? What is the gist of this diagram, Richard? You have you noticed this diagram? You're probably driving, so you can't. Uh, in a strange move until now, zero zero were left, and then a short was clo uh, closed, so people can short. What was, what what's that? I, well, they're uh, just making Jesus. The yard stream freezes sometimes. Uh, I saw oh, it, and okay. then you went to the YouTube stream. So I don't see no, what you're sorry. talking about. Right there, right there, right there. Let me see. I went to the wrong window. Hang on. I'm going to find um, Hyperfund. Oh, all you got to do is uh, look at the subtitles as he's making that. Yeah, that's right. Prime I mean, it doesn't translate that well. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> there we go. Hyperfind. Uh, are you listening and reading, or is Rob not no, uh, compatible Rob with that? He works for a living. He, isn't, he wants to have money <laughs> in his life. I'm okay. You want, me I'm, to, you want me to stop and go through it for you? Um, yeah, I can. Well, no, you don't have to. Yeah, well, I've, I've just come up with a smashing idea, and that would be to find uh -huh. the primetime video and play it, because I've ne never actually played it. Yeah. And um, we could do that. That might be more exciting than watching a video with subtitles. Uh, stop. All right, so here we are. I think I found it. Does this look like it? Oh, it's only 30 seconds. It can't be it. But let's have a wee look anyway. Just over 30, he has already realized financial freedom that most people yearn for. Oh, oh my God. Bitcoin investors in China. And Sounds first, shit. he drew attention as an activist on social media. Sparing no effort in promoting Bitcoin and blockchain technology. Uh, it sounds incredible. So what we need, Amazon Prime Time, Hyperfund Promo, next. Um, okay, so that must have been the original video. It must have been so, the trailer. That, that Yeah. So now we'll go here, and we're looking for one of these. Oh, there it is, hour and a half long. That would bore anyone. We're not going to watch that for an hour and a half. Uh, Let's see what you know. And why this convinced so many people to invest. This documentary is a period of blah, 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 blah. One of the first killer applications no. of blockchain is you can have a white paper. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, I don't know this music thing. Oh, look, let's get rid of the music thing. Okay, second binary white paper. Oh, Lower the threshold. Invite everybody in. People yeah. would 
try to buy and invest in ICOs for that. Is that BTCC? Vision of a high return. Can they get it? Good job. Oh, there he is. I'll stop the music every now and again and listen to the rumble. The Chinese code that we've been seeing. Is, this, is that what that says? Yeah. The date, the 10th of July, 2018. Is that what that means? Right, after all that time. That makes me. That says, I'm going to get that tattooed somewhere. It just looks cool. That, that long one at the end? Promising yeah. technology. Who's that guy? Technology is, is just being. I'm just stopping it because i got this bloody music. I agree. We have a lot of work to do as a new. Who's that guy? He's got like eyebrows. He's got one. He's got two eyebrows. So he might. Oh, here we go. We got zapped away. Uh, is that guy still active? Brian Morris? Yeah, yeah. He calls himself Mars. That's right. I think the Earth is not like this. I'm not sure if it's Germany. I like it when they do that. Makes me a bit dizzy. Oh, oh. oh I'm going to stop that music there for a bit. Oh my goodness, it's starting again. I'm allowed to do it for three seconds at a time. Oh, God, it's starting to piss me off. Just saying. Hold it. Go back to... Oh, it must be just about there. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, this is so cheesy. So, in the Jesus Christ of the Church, there is a question that is very difficult to answer. If God is all around, it's like free lunch and a boomerang. Oh my God, listen to the background. It's like free lunch and a boomerang. Oh my God, listen to the background. Oh, I can't watch this. No. It is, uh, as you agree. Um, I'm just I'll watch it later. Richard, this, this is what you should watch when you need to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the propaganda, isn't it? What, I, what I'll do, guys, is I, you watch it in your own time, but we'll just go, um, we'll share it. No, we won't. We will go to here and we'll save it. And I'll save it to what I call um, vigilant content creators. So I'll be on the homepage of my website. Um, so what we were trying to accomplish by um, watching that video anyway, we, the, this is the video that a lot of people said they watched, and when they watched it, they were convinced that um, that Ryan Jew was real and his, his merry men were friggin', you know, friggin' amazing, and they invested in the company because of this video. So since then, this has been removed off the interweb by – Prime time videos. That's his mum there, actually. Her name's Mary. See, come in, woman. Good. See, he said, Good. Wouldn't it be funny if you recognize one of the Avengers in there? Oh, there he is, Binance guy. So, what's Binance? Because theoretically, we were told that Ryan Jew owns 7% of Binance, weren't we? Every day, there's about 10 to 20 new exchanges launching. Wow. Uh, and going live, uh, some of them going live, and um, has been like that for the last. Five years. Is that why they picked finance as the account? So uh, many people told me, "Hey, look, Cezy, what are you doing?" Right? That's like this is a. Old I think. What was that, man? I wonder if that's why they picked. You know, there's a bunch of exchanges they could have picked from. Is that why they picked Binance? Because Ryan owns seven percent, so he, that's how he's getting his kick. No, because the tech dude right it. there is a part of Binance. Somebody works for Binance at some level, unless that's fake too. Yeah, no, I think they did. All right, guys. I think um, so. With that video, um, oh, 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 silly me. I know what we're doing. See, this is why Rob's going to be laughing at me. You filmed something this morning, didn't you? We got the Russians. We've got the I Russians. Love the Russians. The Russian chat is the best. Yeah, here it is. Russia. It's hey, did Russia. you hear my clip about Mike Douglas or Mike no. Lucas, whatever the heck is? How did you send it to me? Ooh, probably okay. what's that? I know, I know uh, the audio needs to be cleaned up, but basically, Mike Douglas goes, 
I said, well, Mike, why are you lying to the Bureau of people? He goes, because I want to. So I've been sending that to every person he recruits. I did. We played at yesterday's meeting, so don't worry. We got that one. It was great. Uh, <laughs> I've been. <laughs> I'm yeah. sending it to every one of his uh, people who I joined know. this group. And he goes, and he goes, he says he doesn't care. And he goes, well, uh, are you, you said something like, are you, you're scamming? We'll have to play it now. We said it one minute, mate. And um, he said he didn't care. You said you're scamming everyone. He goes, I don't care. And I thought, what the hell? Oh, hold on a minute. No, you must have sent it to the main area. Huh? Um, yeah, but that was a good, we clipped that one. It was quite good. I was quite impressed. Um, so now we've got um, Gracie Baby. She was rude. So with a question and answers at the back. Oh, this one. Well, yeah, when was this? This was, oh, this was yesterday. That, that many people who are new to yeah. you is from understanding. I might, I, I might, I'm not looking at this correctly. I was texting her like pictures that she was on the meeting. Krishna? She's like, must like, oh, welcome, oh. welcome, Krishna. And what sort of pictures were you sending here? Pictures of her on the meeting and uh, <laughs> the hyperverse getting busted and, you, you guys. You know, you guys don't need to get a room or anything like that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> she kicked me out of the one room and she thought she was smart. And I was like, I'm still in the room. Here's what here's what you're you're doing right now. Here's Chavez talking. Oh, that's great. That was just I love when she picks up it's the best because she never knows that she picked up the phone, which is kind of hilarious. She gets away with upset, I think. Hey Rob's back again. You're taking notes, Rob. We were just about falling asleep, Rob. Uh, well, I just found something, and it's on the video that you're playing, if this is this morning's one. Oh, good on you, mate. I, I like you. I like you a lot. <coughs> I, li I like me. I oh, like me a lot, is that, too. Yeah, is that Podia in the first picture, who's Superman? You basically got to say, oh, my D, oh, my da, life goes on. Yeah. Who's the username? Yeah. Who's the username in the first box? Podia? Podia? Hold it. What's happening? Um, the person in, who has Superman with his chest. Oh, yeah. That's him. Yeah, that's him. So is that you? No, that, they're, no, that's the guy that's, that's the Russian, the mother, mother, the mother nation guy. Yeah, she recruits, they they she recruits a lot of people <laughs> that she's not getting money for. <laughs> yeah, but the point with that there, it's a bit weird because um, what I'm trying to say is um, they let him in there recording all the meetings and you can go in there and look at it and see who it is. So why are they letting Russia record these meetings? And won't let Danny De Hick, AKA the crypto hey, voice. Can does we are all Satoshi that are, Oh yeah. Right. That's her, her link. But what about Japan? I wonder when they're going to put that one up. I'm wondering if Susie has got something to do with the Russian because she's lit up. When we went to the Russian page, she went, we got the Russians. So I reckon you might have something to do with the Russians, Susie. What do you reckon? <laughs> Susie's an undercover agent for the Russians. Good Wait till you get to the part where she is super rude to people. What part's that? Yeah. <laughs> so it's really awesome. This afternoon, we have RM, JM, and we have. I don't Mahesh, like your name. Mahesh. Call Saturday. Mikhail, all of you are welcome, right. along with Sheila. <laughs> Uh, look at all, and I feel phone Danny. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I thought that was you, mate. I it's thought Danny, were you with me? After this, she went and she was going to let somebody by the name of Danny on an iPhone go in there. She's getting <laughs> sloppy, man. I mean, this, this is like giving Danny a red bull, a red, a red, a red <laughs> robe. Friggin' egg. Go back and thank the person who has invited you. Thank you, Bob. Thanks, Without Danny. Further, Thank you, darling. So we can get started. I do wish to Carl, invite you're you my hero. And to help me welcome center stage. The man whose vision brings you these opportunities. Vision. The man whose heart in this community. What is it she's trying to as say? he holds it out, <laughs> this community in his heart Did you brings you. <laughs> She's hoping she's, she's gonna croak one of these times she does this. So she um what she did was really unusual. She said um something about something in center. What'd she say? Stand right and center, like she was in the army. And then I remember she's actually ex army. Yeah, so she sort of she said yeah. she said uh our leader is front and center. Yeah. And I thought, oh my goodness, that's the last thing we need is the military involved. But anyway, many opportunities. 
his care, his patience, and his considerations brings him today <laughs> to be able to speak with you frankly and make sure that you have the latest information that is going on <laughs> with this opportunity oh. that he has presented. Until his Ladies now. and gentlemen, help me yeah. to welcome Chavez to. No, no, I wouldn't speed this up. And stand look, up. At, look at okay. Seppo on the top right. Chavez? She wasn't there, right? She looks so lovely, though, doesn't she? Imagine that was your mum, Mama. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Keep smiling, Gracie. And what yeah. happened to my tan? No, he was out having a joint. I just got a message. He's still on the phone. Okay? He's still working out one yeah, little I mean, thing come get there. Driven. So, um, on phone, my Reggie, Douglas. do you have that video? Keep smiling, Gracie. Uh, no, Grace, I told you today I knocked him from another yeah, piece. Yeah, I knocked him. That, 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 that I that's what Grace's face. <laughs> His <laughs> microphone <laughs> never gets yeah, old. the video? He's like sitting on his phone. Recognize that one day you told me you weren't going to do it. Let us take on some questions, preliminary, some of the things that he's going to go over. If those are some of the things that he's going to go over, I will say, wait, Chavez is coming. So, are there any questions at this time? I should take a number from Chavez. Hands popping up. Here we go. Darwin, how are you today? Great, thanks. How it is you? so good to see you. Thank you very much. Let me unmute you. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Hello, Grace. My name's Danny. Hello, hello. Oh. Can you hear me? How are you? Good to see you. Hello, hello. I'm well, thanks. <laughs> Just um, on the dividends, um, the dividends for the Vault Horizon. Oh, the fanboy. They, they were supposed yeah. to be shown on the 18th. Is that one of the mics? No. Yeah, no, um, no, 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 you, no you need to listen to these. I'm just curious, um, George, that um, shield on the top left of their picture, what is that? Because I haven't seen that on a Zoom meeting before. Is that a kill switch or something? Because I, I ain't seen that Where? before. So you look at behind the back. Oh, uh, like the, the thing that's in yellow? Yeah. Yeah, that's, not, that's on all of them. But when um, – I, I, don't, I don't know if Zoom changed I think in certain Zooms, if you updated it, changed it. But that's how I used to grab all the phone numbers from transact card members. If you click it, and then it'll say, you know, one member is connected by audio, and you can click it, and it'll show everybody's phone number. Oh, wow. Right. I'm sure you've had fun with that before. Oh, uh, yes, yeah. I have. <laughs> yeah. Available on the first. Yeah. But my, if, if my Vault Horizon hasn't changed in numbers, normally it changes as happen? you earn – so on the Ascension Club bonus, 300 went to the Vault Horizon, but it didn't change the numbers. Has it? The numbers haven't changed in the Vault Horizon for the whole month of January. That does look no, like the doesn't it? The thing about it is that is the sort of question that we will deal with on Saturday, okay? Okay, Now, perfect. of course, we'll see on the 1st that... Um, this guy, I'm sorry to stop, but this guy must be... He's on every meeting, and he acts like it's his first time and he asked the dumbest questions, and then he's no, so... He is. No, he No. No, have, have you heard what he's actually asked here? Well, he's yeah, asked... He he's asked, asked, he's asked, asked why the numbers why are not has legitimate. Bitcoin not gone up in the Vault Horizon? Yeah, it's stayed that. exactly the same the whole month. So she comes back and says that it's going to get paid out on the 1st of whenever, and he said, no, yeah, it hasn't gone up. So I'm no, not she, get, she said basically you just asked that question on Saturday, didn't she? Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> All right. It needs to be on the Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. One more yeah, day. Whole, Yay. Whole point here. And then, if there's still an if the whole point that people have missed on that question, except probably me and Susie, is that is a major question. All right. Because they're they're gonna get paid out the dividend, which is supposed to be calculated on the eighteenth of each month on the amount of Bitcoin that is in the cashier bank. And this guy's saying that amount of Bitcoin hasn't gone up in the last month. <laughs> they no haven't bought any Bitcoin in the last month. There's no money in the cashier bank, Rob. 
Yeah, that's but you're missing it. the point. They're supposed to be no, buying I'm the Bitcoin. The point. Another but, thing. No, I, in there. These people have tripped up so many times in what they said. I just start to hear, right. you know, it's just lie after lie. And mm. I know it's you like, were right. Like no to my horn. Horn. It's like listening to my horn. <laughs> okay, you run. Danny. Danny. Yeah. Yeah, five listen, seconds I'm... ago, five seconds ago, it sounded like she said you only got one more day. Yes, yeah. she did. Yeah. So, with them shutting down the vault, uh, um, sorry, with them shutting down Boomerang and telling people that they're going to pay out money in one more day for, onto a platform where you can't take the money off the platform for the last 37 days, it's kind of getting a bit stupid, isn't it? Because what excuse, are they, if, what, how are they going to get the money off even if they do pay on the first? Oh, absolutely. How, yeah. However, the point is, is that at every month they're supposed to be buying Bitcoin. And yeah. even if the money isn't in the vault horizon, it's supposed to be increasing the balance, the Bitcoin balance in the cash out bank. And what this guy is saying is it, it looks from what he can see that in the extension club that the amount of Bitcoin purchase should have gone up, but it hasn't gone up. So the problem, the one, there's one real problem there that they had with the money was the fact that they said that the money generated from the sales of Boomerang wasn't going to affect the vault. They did say that a wee while ago. So I assume they're going to reiterate that later on. And they'll say, we, you know, we aren't, they, what they're going to do is clear bankruptcy with We Are or Satoshi. They're going to tell everyone that they were forced to do a complete name change. And then they're going to move every, the database over to a new template with a new disclaimer. <laughs> and they'll want to rebrand this company. Because remember, they did try to rebrand this company when the state of California did their thing. Is that, yeah. does everyone think that's right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They, they they to 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 Sorry. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> who's going to be the new CEO? Wait. Wait. Who, who, who's everybody's guest on the new CEO? Uh, I'm oh, going with Grace. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, my God. Let me say this. Here you go, Rich. If they get away with it, it's not on us because we've been pointing out all the, you know, all the bells, all the red flags. If the government can't see into listening to us for the past couple of months, GSM with the boomerang, with the mining, then the, the government's screwing it up, not us. We didn't miss nothing. They have to yeah. see that this is connected to the hyperverse. It's connected to Ch uh, Chavez with, with Hyper One and Hyper One's connected to Hypertech. So if they can't connect those freaking dots, then they're retarded. Now, I, I see this slightly differently because if you're a member of We Are All Satoshi, mm -hmm. e every month you're supposed to get a 3% payout um, because of the interest of the Vault Horizon being put into the cash show bank. With and the, the original Vault Horizon is, I, Well, I, no, because no, it hasn't. I, I've never heard anything that's changed that, Okay, let me say this on... then. I've never received anything from my WAS. Boom, shakalaka. When I left, Boom, when I stopped it. talking to Boom, Chavez, <laughs> sorry, y'all. When I, I stopped it. talking to Chavez, he said, I buy Bitcoin. <clears throat> and everybody was waiting for the audit to come back. And the audit came back like a month after that. He, he you know, in the breakaway room, because he didn't want to say it live. But he never once said, that the payout, you know, before they announced the dividend, he never once announced that the old was is where people are going to get paid. He always acted like it was going to be the new one. But where would the money come from to pay anybody? Thinnier, mate. Thinnier. It comes from people's bottoms. Rich, you should go. With, we should have Rich go like undercover back in and be like, hey, I've been away. Whatever happened to this audit? Yeah, I got just they've never one officially thing, kicked me out. All right. That think that thirty percent of what we are all Satoshi make is supposed to go into purchasing new Bitcoin, and when right. they announce those nodes, the the Terra node, Giga node, and whatever the other node was, is that they were going to pay out three percent, seven percent, or ten percent of what was made or turned over each month. Right. So if what this guy is asking is a major question, if you pick up on it, is that yeah, he's basically saying that if 
if that Bitcoin doesn't go up, if there's no Bitcoin being purchased, then it basically means, well, was is not making any money. Therefore, if you've got those nodes, 3%, 7% or 10% of what was is making each month adds up to zero. Right. And the other part that needs to be bigger than that point is when he said he's taking the money to the audit, when he first announced the dividends with cash or bank, the <clears throat> overall statement is that the dividends are connected to the old was. That is why Chavez needs to be arrested with Sam Lee. Because mm. it's the same thing as saying Sam Lee is awarding the dividends. Mm. Ice cream. Um, good news. Lost the video. <laughs> And the, about the and dividends the, just, we no, we lost a video and we found it again just thought i'd share that with you and that the um, next two questions on oh, here sorry. are really good too oh okay sorry i'm just going to ping this off to a lady who has got a pen in her handwriting stuff that's going to blow this out of the weeds and she just sent me a link which i'm downloading at the moment of a video of sam driving to work um, Again, that no, yeah, he's going to get rubber glove treatment in hospital. I've, I've just put a request in. And, and <laughs> George, <laughs> no, no, not her. That would be all right. Um, what I'm saying is, um, I've just put a request into the Australian clink and said I've just put some more rubber gloves <clears> in the way so they can have fun with Sam when he gets there. And also raising money to take me over there for a holiday to Australia. I'm really I'm looking forward to that. If there's a philanthropist over there who's got a nice jet, pick me up, take me to the state prison. I want to visit Sam. Just I saying. want to visit Carl. So I could do that. Yeah. All right, here we go. Issue and you have raised the ticket. We will address that. You can go as my date. As long as it's okay with Helen um Lisa, I'm I'm good with it. We'll go together. I'll just Definitely. run it past. Yeah, that's <clears> going to be fun. And we'll dress up. We'll dress up like, we'll, we'll get some clothes like Bitcoin Rodney used to wear and pimp ourselves out and get one of those big necklaces and I'll get a grill and I'll turn up in a car that's got my name all over it with my glasses. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That on the, and, yep. and Saturday, okay? Saturday support day. Thank you, Darwin. Thanks. <laughs> he said thanks. Any other questions? Ah, really? You're going to let me off that easy, huh? Okay. All right. No. Very well. Oh, Julie says no. She's not going to let me off that easy. Okay. What sort of <laughs> Julie, how are you today? Hi, I'm doing good, Grace. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. That's a lovely jacket. That color looks really good on you. What oh is your question? God. So my question is, um, and maybe I've missed it, so if I have, hopefully you can direct me to the right place. But um, in regards to the, uh, the vault horizon, um, I think Chavez was supposed to give out the bank and the uh, showing us, you know, the total in the vault horizon from, you know, with all the money that's in there. Um, is that somewhere that I haven't seen or <laughs> could we address that? He may be able Okay, Rob, why don't you tell us what we missed? There's no money in the vault. and It's not even in the vault. It's in the freaking cash bank that we're waiting for the audit on. What did we miss with that, Rob? No, 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 no. I completely agree, right? right. But just hear the response. I can't wait. This is caviar. Able to go ahead and uh, address that, uh, but it may or may not be today because he does have the questions that and updates that he's going to go ahead and provide you. But he has so, already disclosed that. One question per me. person. Remember? Oh, did you hear the one question per person bit? Yeah. That was priceless. So she's already asked a question, so shut up. <laughs> Where is that? Remember the rules. One question per person, and I have answered your question. So I the thing about it, up. he has been able to go ahead and disclose that and has announced that previously. Um, yeah, I was in the room. I was like, I you so much, Julie. Appreciate it. In Israel? Unbelievable, eh? Hey, look at look at Julie. She needs a hug. She's, she's, she's like, 
Oh, wow. We need, and now, we need, we should we contact need Julie. Julie. We need Julie on our side. How do you go find her? Where, how do we spell we her do. name? We need to find her. Oh, she be she she definitely would come to our side after that question. After that, you will. Yeah, I think um, Julie. What's the last name? We're not getting distracted, Wit. Rob. We're staying on target. Oh, I can tell. <laughs> hey, look, here we go. Right, new window. We'll try the obvious one first. Facebook. Um, hey, and then we'll... hey, Julie. Saw you on the meeting, and the disrespect Grace gave hey. you. We thought we yeah. should help you get the answer to your question. Right, Julie Witt. And a great to, question. It was a great question you asked, and we have the answer for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might not like the answer, though. Yeah. Okay, we're just going to go to here. So what have we got? Uh, do you think she's a cat? Nothing wrong with cat people, Lisa. It's okay. Do you think mm -hmm. she's a cat lady? Because the first picture that comes up is a cat person. Um, I know it's her and her husband on a lot of the meetings. Oh, where was she from? She's an American, I think. Okay. Our accent, was it? Have I spelled her name right? Is she a dog person? <laughs> Ooh, what's that down there? High school, Mustangs. Um, can you take support? a mm, Can you... Can you crop okay. her out and run it through AI? Oh, is that here? No, that's not here. Um, probably too blurry, I think, coming off that. But hey, any volunteers? Hey, does anyone, can somebody reach out to Julie who knows her? Because I've seen her before. I mean, that must be pretty gutting um, mm -hmm. that you've invested in a company and then you realize, you know, imagine she popped in the, in the room she now. Needs she to accept she's lost her money and she's not going to see that again. So. Yeah. I've accepted I've lost mine. I'm just like, mm, it is what it is. It's only money at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, oh, yes, no. Yeah, we're still making it. Yeah. All right. Carl, I think the other, the other one comes up when you search. When you search for Don't have to look with Carl Miller right now with his email. Marketing leader. Uh, it's going to be too tricky, but it would be nice to find people like that because obviously she's pissed off. And um, but anyway, we can look for her later. I'll leave those tabs open. We'll get back to the meeting. Staying on target today because Rob's here. Liz, question. Um, wow. is, um, is real? I'm sorry, I mispronounced your name. How do you pronounce your name? Hey, you get that name for the next time and use it. Um, Bob, because she'll be, she'll go. Oh, I had problems with your name last time. And you go, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, it's my, <laughs> yeah, one for me, my project name. Oh, that's hey. your project name is real uh, yeah. recruitment yeah, yeah. group. Yeah. yeah okay. What is cool. Yeah. Okay. So I just want. To um, know oh, I'm so sorry. I, to... I need your I need your video on. I hope you listen to the rules. I need your video on. Okay. Because we got scammed too many times, but Bob. Yes, I can see you. Thank you. Yeah, Go ahead. it's so nice to meet you. Because I am every day joined to the uh, Mr. Service uh, Zoom meeting. <laughs> so I want to know what's happened last uh, week. Is there are any meetings going on? A search for him. He'll be easy. Meetings? Because I did this. Yeah, I am following the YouTube, but I I couldn't see the in YouTube the recordings. What happened? So I don't know what's happened. Now was what oh, happened? Scam, I have no idea that. Because. Bob, oh, you okay, them. so the UK meetings are at this time. That's Monday, Tuesday, and um, Thursday and Friday. So you can come the US, UK, and then on. Um, there are no every day now. They no, don't have every day now. Sorry. They don't have oh, every day. Oh, we should cut them off, mate. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I'm answering your question. So on Mondays, Tuesday, <laughs> Mondays, Tuesday <laughs> Wednesday, and then. Thursday, Fridays are our meeting days, UK and US. <clears throat> and then also um, Saturdays, we'll have the su Saturday support days where you can come and have your questions answered. And then Sunday, we have the master class training. And then on Wednesdays, like today, we will have the update. She, and she's got to be Wednesday. mean away. Thank you very much. A very good question. I mean, she's <laughs> smoking crack. 
or she's on a kamikaze mission to finish herself off in the business world. I, what, what would drive a person like this? I mean, can you look at her <clears> face? And you put a smile on and you call, tell somebody to shut up the F up. But as long as you have a smile on your face when you're doing it. <laughs> it is quite incredible. If you have a look at your <laughs> iMessage, Danny. Yep. Thanks, mate. It's real. Okay. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's the face you have when okay. I am. Uh... Very good. Chavez is here. Perfect. Chavez Perfect. Is here. Hello, Keep everyone. Going. I hope you all are doing good. I, I think it's important that we find her. Uh, that lady, and I'm just what I'm actually proposing that we do is we ring her up and just say, Look, we're the we haven't done that for a while, and just say, Look, we we saw your question, you look like a normal person. Why don't we try <laughs> this to another level and do that? What do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and I mean, you know, like you know, we she would know who we are. Uh, we'll, what's, we'll her see, see. what's her surname? I know, we've got her, we've got her. I think we've got her. Oh, look at that. Um, <laughs> any of those bells ring a bell? You haven't got a link, have you, Rob? Uh, I would try LinkedIn. Thank you. LinkedIn. <coughs> um, we just so happens that she might sell wooden things that people live in. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Now, how do we find her? California. Let's hope. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, she hasn't posted anything. A Riata uh, experience uh, company. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate doing this sort of stuff public. But, hey, you got every now and again, you've just got to be a bit naughty, don't you? <laughs> like Sharon Williams? Oops, the other real estate agent? <laughs> Yeah, Why have a, like I don't get how the real estate agents always fall for this. Oh, well, I always thought being a. I hope there's no real estate. Agent. Ab absolutely know that is her though. Um, but if you play on the video, uh, this is going to be interesting. What comes up next? Yeah, I got another question. Is it every scam has gone to a webinar style? Is that like a on the scam scam memo? Like go to webinar style. <laughs> In one, um, no, I, uh, I'm on Danny's favorite one right now, Transact Card. Uh -huh. Hey, <laughs> things are happening with that too. Can anyone give me a um, link? Uh, For link. What? I'm just going to give you what we've got, and I'll just put it in the chat room. But let's have a wee listen here. We're back to that smile. That is priceless, though, isn't it? How's everyone feeling? Good? No. Awesome. Let me, let me unmute everyone. Great. Go ahead, Luis. Like, who is buying a microphone? Christine Hester. Christine Hester. Oh, Danny, for your top person, Christine Hester, Florida. Enjoying Boomerang. Florida. And having fun with it. You know? Yeah, I called her and told her, she's like, I don't care. She's booking 30, 40% trades in a row. Oh, right. say that again. Hear that? Yes, listen to this. Um, what did you say, Bob? Did you say you've already rang her? Yeah, I already rang Christine Hester. Oh, have you? No, Christine, not not Julie Witt. No, Christine Hester I've called before. All right, I want to go back and just hear because this. Because don't here. forget, oh. most of these people are in the VIP five rooms or uh, international freedom team. Yep, I get you. That you're you're still part of. <laughs> they still haven't removed you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Here we go. Thank you, Chavez. Hope you all are enjoying Boomerang and having fun with it. You know, uh, Joseph is like this. He's booking 30, 40 percent trades in a row. He's wow. Pitching. Wow. 30 to 40 percent trades in a row. Notice keyword. Percent didn't say thirty dollar trades. He said yep. thirty to forty percent. Where are they? Yep, and that's probably Chavez's new boyfriend. Is is he's <laughs> running a trail, Joseph? Unmute yourself. You, Make sure you got your camera on. You are you you have gone crazy, right? <laughs> this morning, uh, Chavez, uh, I started a meeting with just uh, three three four people, and I uh -huh. started to do the live trading. 
Um, uh -huh. And I succeeded with the first 22%. And then I had a couple of fails, a couple of fails. And then I, I think I had three or four trades in a row with 30, 40% after that. Everybody was calling everybody. So I, I ended up with 50 people on the call, you know, doing the live trading. And we were sitting from 9.30 in the morning until 12 o'clock. And I would just keep on doing it. Eventually, my, my limit ran out. And I tried even 20 times after. And I just got failed, 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 because I have no more flash loan. Uh, All right. So that is just disgusting. It really is. Because... Um, what we was going to do. I mean, this is... I wonder if I mean, that might keep from the lady who lost $12,000. But how can they say stuff like that? And then when you go to this website, we look at the top trades, and it, it says $30, not 30%. And also, there's only one trade there. So are there systems that are meant to be lightning bolt fast, talking to exchanges, A to B, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's just... Um, Disgusting. Is that um, 04? Is that an American number? Is that a plus one? Which one? Oh, yeah. so is this like in America? Yep. All plus right, so one in America. Uh, oh, no, it hasn't got a plus one. It starts with 408. Is 408, that, that is. If it just has a 408, it's probably America. America yeah. usually has the one in front of it or it just has the number. Yeah, on WhatsApp. I'm just um, putting the lady's name name in the box. I'll ring her on another device, but I just needed to um, set it up first. Sorry, guys. Might be a second. Uh, I think it's worth ringing her. So, uh, um, well, I don't know how. Well, I do know what to say. I'll just gonna say don't get scammed twice. Forty-four UK ninety-one India. Yeah. So I'll try finding that number in a second. I'll just wait for that to update on my. Um, iPad and plus we'll, fifty two uh, is Europe because Eunice Eunice's boy called me from there. Yep. So we'll ring her in a second, and what we'll do is we want to go. Yeah. So what we're talking about is if you go down to the bottom of the website here. Now we just heard them basically lie to everyone because this is the top trades, and the amount wasn't percentage. The amount was thirty dollars profit, and remember, this isn't proper arbitrage trading. Uh, it would actually be neat to see if. If um, that could be found, um, thank you, Joe. Thanks, appreciate that. Um, that it would be interesting to see if this transaction could be found. Um, you know what I mean? So we could go through and find this actual transaction to see. What yeah, I, I think that the point is is that he said thirty to forty percent. We can't see thirty to forty percent on there. And the other thing is just how would. Chavez have known about it. Uh, yes. Like I suppose he could have got a text. Yeah, no, that's true. Um, let's have a ring of this lady anyway and see what happens, eh? Um, we're going to call her on FaceTime using an iPad. Hopefully the sound comes through. You can hear that all right? You can hear me okay? Yes. Swinging. <laughs> what I might do is I'll leave that. Um, we'll go back to the meeting and I'll send her a text message because I don't know what time it is over there. Well, do you guys know what time it is? I'm four, phone number was 408. Hello. Yeah, California. So, what's the time in California? Oh, what's your time? <laughs> Six o'clock. Come on. At night time. Yeah, in the evening. Oh, easy peasy. Let's ring her again. I'll, I'll do a phone call this time. We'll get there. Julie, isn't it? Yep. Or yeah, six o'clock. Maybe Ian. Hmm. I might actually, this is on FaceTime. I might just do a normal phone call and see if we can get her. Yeah, maybe maybe that might be better. Yeah, all right, here we go. It cost me money, but it's worth it. Here we go. 
Pixel, I'm on the I'm on the interweb. Jesus talks, he says. He said, like, order me some bones. Yeah. Whoop. Ah, oh, come on. Maybe I should have changed my caller ID from... Hi, you've reached Julie. Please leave a message and I'll return your call soon. Hello, Julie. De- Danny De Heck is my name. Um, you might have heard of me. My name's my nickname is actually the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. We actually watched you today on We Are All Satoshi asking about the Volt Horizon. And we're just sort of reaching out to you because we sort of felt sorry for you and you didn't get your question answered and you look like you're a bit perplexed with what's going on. We we stream live on the internet each day and we would just love to have you on the show. Um, we're not going to have a go at you or anything. We just want to find out um, more about your experience with We Are All Satoshi and see if we can help you really because we feel like um, a lot of people are getting um, taken advantage of and we just wanted to reach out to you and give you the opportunity. Um, I'm going to send you a text because I'm on iMessage as well. And if you want to text me back and forth, uh, we'd love to just hear if you're okay and see if you need a help with um, whatever's going on with We Are All Satoshi at the moment. Um, have a great day or evening, I should say. See ya. Something like that? I don't know. Make this shit up. That was I? good. That was good. I think we care, don't we? We do care. We don't not care. It's not just, you know. All right, I only so, just don't care about Eunice. That's the only person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'll send her a message anyway. And uh, mobile. Boom. Uh, yeah. And we'll and carry Eunice, on. Did you hear this? I do have a blockchain certificate. You do? So you have got a certificate in blockchain? Yes. Wow. Cool, man. I- I'd love to know your job title, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> A system analyst, I thought it sounded quite good the other day. I like the sound of that one. Hmm. You don't work for the FBI by any chance? Do you want to tell me? Tell me? Tell me? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Well, I the really wanted to have more Flash loan at the moment. I was oh, thinking maybe magically Chavez can just put some more Flash loan in my account now. It would be great. <laughs> when he said that, I thought, hey, I wouldn't be surprised if Chavez, to keep faith with faith with all the community, as he gives everyone their, their more Flash loan money and starts feeding out this money. You know what I'm saying? So if you've got 50,000 and you've used it up, he'll go, look, I'm going to I'm gonna f- um, give you another 50,000 of your flash loan money. And then he starts releasing the money in, in, in slow, painful implements, claiming that it's overloading the server or something stupid, you know, just to keep the community together. Yeah. I, I, I'm sort of thinking one of he's going to start doing that. Mm. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. All right. Well, this is this is really, really getting busy. And this is how people are holding up <clears throat> with Boomerang. Today, I don't have a lot of updates, but I have a little clarification uh, and explanation for, for the community, followed by the, uh, the roadmap that we will follow for this week, because there is a lot to be done. We are still in the beta phase. Uh, and everyone's everyone wants boomerang to go live right as soon as possible so we are we, we need to work together <laughs> you know you guys are providing a lot of support a lot of help by I using boomerang in the it's beta coming. phase so that our team is getting to understand how the dap is working and that's that's the beauty of you talking about the uh, boomerang in? right that is that is the beauty of of artificial intelligence that it learns it learns from the process Mm -hmm. the more you practice it learns more Mm -hmm. that is the beauty of artificial intelligence well speaking of which uh, i have seen a great momentum people are sitting and trading whole day i mean just showing people how it works right so it is it is definitely becoming exciting day by day day by day and everyone wants more uh precisely the whole flash loan limit that you all have purchased so we are working on that rigorously we are not uh the team is excited because with every test that they make they make money 
even the team while building boomerang is making money so it's it's wholesome a money making machine that we are building together and we don't have to forget that it is still in the beta phase and we need to make it all perfect running well with polygon first then ethereum then bnb and then more networks so that we can just not remain selfish with our community we can invite millions of people selfish. so for that we have done a big big migration last night karol satoshi we have moved uh, the whole database into a very secure servers physical servers so that yeah, we can have yeah, millions that's right. of so they're telling you that it's going to be down for maintenance but then they tell you in one brief which Bob just mentioned that it's already happened so what the, what is it i mean it's just don't they trip themselves up with these stupid stories members and that, why are oh, why, why, why you have access to does any of these people show up in your database eric allen does that name sound familiar Larry uh, Lane, Gary Lane, Larry, Larry. Larry. Oh, I do know of oh, Larry. Yeah, okay, because he's in this. Colette Daniels. Hey, there's somebody in our our um our group. I didn't know. Does anyone know him? Um, Sean Ooh. was it? Yeah, I was trying to figure that out before. Um. What, what are you listening to? We got to make three different groups. We got to make one just for reporters, and it where it's just here's the information. One just us. Yeah. And every so with Telegram, it's quite good because you can have different um, topics. But how do you do that on WhatsApp? Do you have to create a brand new group? Yep. Yeah, we need to give that some thought. I think it's a great idea. We need one for us to chit chat and feed me information for the mornings, and then we obviously like. I know that's funny, Richard, but I've already seen your video of Major Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Where's he gone? He's gone back to sleep, isn't he? He has. I want to right. change that card and say, hey, you guys are all talking about nothing. How about your leaked information where you leaked everybody's data? Oh, Where's yeah, but what, about, but what about where he said that um, somebody hacked into the server? I have all the server information. It was posted online. The hacker group posted it online. Like, right, Here's a sample of it. As everybody's logging the information. All oh, right, so that actually did happen. Yeah, and they and they haven't mentioned it yet. That's what right. Oz was talking about. It's like, why didn't you tell the community that? And in an email, all they mentioned was like, oh, everybody should have two-factor authentication on. Absolutely, cray cray, cray cray. I'm like, hey, good thing about it. I just got Sam. You know that video of Sam driving to um driving yesterday morning I, I managed to get that video off the internet um and put it online which is quite good yeah all right well let's carry on listen to shavi baby eh? that oh. database is not exposed uh to any of the providers out there in the out there on internet so that you all feel safe that your database this whole community's database. Sam's is already going to sell the database, you idiot. So this is what we did last night uh, with the database. That's why the website, the platform was down for a couple of hours. And no. we did the move. Be honest, that was not of me. Now you have Unreal. everything in place, which is working, which will. I did hear that the website was down for a wee while, but I went there and it was going. So I never thought it. So that's obviously down. Do you think the. um? Do you think that was, the web post. that was part of the web post saying, Hey, you, yeah. I have legal information saying you're operating a, a pyramid scheme. You have to respond to this. Otherwise you're going to be offline. Yeah. And also, um, going by the, which is stupid because now it just entrapped himself when the state of California audits the web host. And, and he's going to say, no, it's not. He's going to, he's going to, that's going to come and bite him in the butt when it goes to court. I'm telling well, you. I just don't think. I, I mean, does Shavas you reckon he's going to ever get to court? I don't sort of feel that. No, but here's he, I always think of it like the mom movie, right? Think of Al yeah. Capone. Oh, Al Capone, oh. Al Capone couldn't have been busted on anything, right? None of yeah. the murders, none of the 
crazy stuff. What did he get busted for? Tax evasion. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, don't mess with taxes. If you like, you're a criminal. Don't screw with taxes. <laughs> look, that'll get you my, every time. My favorite one is the IRS. Just saying. But anyway, and then the ATO, the IRD. Right. So, what do you think, Carl? Like, 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 tax evasion is big, and then you're gonna have wire fraud, which is ten years by any country. Yeah. Which is why Brenda Chung is probably going to be at minimum, you know, 10 years. And then depending on her past criminal record, it's probably going to be like more like 12 to 15. And that, that's actually really valid, actually, because I, I keep thinking, oh, they'll get them on the highest charge, won't they? Is that what we reckon? Right. They'll start yeah. like to, to hold you for the smaller charge, like traffic ticket or something stupid, right? As they build the case. Yeah. Because I've got some information about her, which I can't wait to tell them. Um, you know, so it's quite cool. Um, like, the, like these clowns over here, like like Larry Lane, Aaron Whiter, Ian Collin, Steve Campbell's on here. Mm. I just want to wipe Steve Campbell's smug face off. And uh, they're, they're trying to like, well, well you're all founders now. So I guess to um, put the blame on everybody else, like spread the blame. Cause now you're all part of the company. It's like that, that's not going to do anything. Like, yeah. Like, like you say, you love judge Judy. I'm like, I watch all these cases on judge Judy. Like do you do as well. I love judge Judy. <laughs> I mean, maybe we should start up a judge Judy chat room, but Honestly, mate, I watch. I go to bed at two o'clock in the morning, and I watch Judge Judy and fall to sleep. I, I woke up the other morning with my earpiece in, and some reason it must have been on continuous. I play the whole playlist of Judge Judy, and I think I got <laughs> woke up in the morning going feeling great, you know. But she's just so cool. I love Judge Judy. Isn't that funny? You love her too. She's um, you know, she was making forty two million dollars a year doing that program. Yeah, no. As a lawyer as well. Oh, that got started about Judge Judy. And she's sexy. She's a hot, she's a hot mofo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, let's carry on. Shavas, keep telling us shit. Be working because every other day we were having problems. Like I uh, just before we get started, I can tell he's lying. Do you, <laughs> do you, you know? You just look at him and ears twinkle up, or when yeah. he starts sweating bullets. Like he did when I see him. I could just hear it. Well, yeah. Well, the thing is, he's got his head elevated up, and you know, you 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 get told if you're going to lie, look people straight in the eye. So you over exaggerate the fact, you know. Right. So many people signing up. The servers are getting jammed. Uh, the database is piling up, jammed. and you know, someone is not getting the OTP. Someone is not trying to. Do, you know, not not able to <clears throat> sign up. All that means you didn't pay your bill. To have the ODP we means you didn't pay your bill. Time. So yeah. let's let's embrace they have uh, these. They didn't have yesterday. Put it that way. And that way, why he disappeared the other day. Uh, good problems to have uh, and move forward even stronger, even bigger in a very uh, strong way. So. As you all have known that we are leading this community, you all are leading, we, we together are leading this community towards prosperity. But what do you think at the right? same time, we don't have to forget uh, where we came from, right? Where it started, the BTCC, BTC 20 Smart Chain. BCCC? Right? Richard, so it's BCCC? all going to emphasize enhance the ecosystem that we built together so he froze freeze frame i was taking about the feeling and thought <laughs> going to get a major update on btc 20 our code 20 dap and all the ecosystem is going to have an Rich. update where more features will be added and that is the reason why we will close the node offering by closing oh, the, of the business today. boomerang down for a while so after the business closing today even if the nodes are remaining 
Um, well, hasn't he got only a limited number of nodes left? Like, theoretically, they only sold 100. Then all of a sudden, the last two weeks with no promotion, no people have been able to answer questions, they're, they're just about they, – they said they sold 250 in total. So that does not make sense. It's impossible but, because on the one meeting with me on it, and I asked, this, and I said, and well, actually, Carl was on it. And he said, how much are left? And he goes, 13. And Carl goes, no, no, no. I just sold one to this big guy who owns this company or whatever. There's only 12 left, Chavez. Uh, it's just, it just doesn't make sense. All right, carry on, mister. Tell us more bullshit. Listen to you. No one else will. He's frozen. Right. Okay. Let's start. With the updates. So yeah. before the updates, I received a bunch of questions uh, from the community. I'm editing okay. Tim Lee's. Um, I received a bunch of uh, questions <clears throat> from the community regarding uh, the boomerang uh, flash loan authority smart contract, how it works. Uh, people don't understand, and uh, I mean, people who know how to read a contract, they understand, oh. but people like common people, they don't oh. understand, oh. they don't know how to read uh, this oh. language. Did you know solidity? <laughs> right, it is written in this la language, solidity. So, for them, I will explain today how arbitrage works, oh. how some. Uh, boomerang smart contract executes the transactions and how arbitrage is done. Okay. All right. So while you have a flash loan limit and you trigger your MetaMask wallet using boomerang DAP for a flash loan, you request for a flash loan and you select a pair and you hit confirm and MetaMask triggers you approve you sign it for the gas fee and you also sign metamask to take approval to the dap for uh, depleting your flash loan limit to execute arbitrage well from that point what happens the smart contract picks up your command depletes your flash loan limit and borrows money from one of the flash loan providers that we are working with right now is Aave. So money is or equity or capital. Let me show you guys. No. So we can see a transaction hash. Imagine we brought up. It is Jeez. three hours um, old. Italy. I can pick up a new one uh, right now. We can go to the DAP. We can pick a transaction hash. This is the beauty of Boomerang, that every transaction is there. Everyone can see no, in we, real time we what other people are you know, doing, what all the users are making, right? Well, so we'll go pick up a transaction hash. and OK, we go to platform stats. Oh, you see, 2 3% profits people are making. This is. This is how crazy it is. Yes. Crazy. So 3%. We will pick up a trade. Okay. So if we see a transaction hash of 42 seconds ago, while I'm talking, while everyone is listening, 42 seconds ago, someone made 3% profitable trade. So here in the total of transactions, if you see, so this is one transaction hash. Okay. And these are the instances one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are the nine instances which are there inside a transaction hash, right. nine actions which smart contract executes. So, okay. so while you borrow some equity from flash loan provider and it basically is consumed in buying a pair on one exchange and selling it over another, flipping it, and then dispersing the profit to the fund controller smart, uh, sorry, back to dispersing the equity back to the flash loan provider. And then the same contract disperses 
the profit to the fund controller, profit controller, smart contract, and that disperses the money or profit to you, to the user who has requested for this transaction. Okay, so the <clears throat> clarity which was not there, which I received questions for, was the these transactions, the trail of these transactions, where it is, uh, I mean, I what, uh, what is the mathematics? Um... What did we miss, Rob? Use your words. Uh, Rob said, "Do you hear that?" Okay, we're going to go back. We missed something. That disperses the money or profit to you, to the user who has requested for this transaction. Okay, so the <clears throat> clarity which was not there, which I received questions for, was the these transactions. The trail of these transactions, where it is, uh, I mean, what uh, what is the mathematics or what is the sequence of these transactions? So, to understand this, you have to understand very simply two things: how Boomerang smart contract executes your transaction. Okay, so initially, while we are talking, someone made a three percent trade. Top trades aren't showing anything that high. Yeah. Yeah. And that's really important. I mean, I, I do, I'm sort of tired, guys, because I hear other stuff all the time. But just to prove that, while we were talking, you're very good, Rob. That's why you should do this. But this is the top trades. And he said, while we were talking, someone made a 3% trade. This is the, pro uh, two, uh, sorry, 3% profit while we were talking, right? So this is why we're saying he's bullshit, poos and wheeze, smelly bum, sh um, Chavez and war, as you can see on their own website that they are making up stories that aren't true because the top profit percentage trade today, same day, is 2.6881. Did we get that? All right. All right, I've done my job, job, job. I've done my job, Rob. Hey, Rob. Right, back to Shavis lying to people. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate that. You're the man. You're the man. We should get rid of the beach ball on this thing. That that old. So, okay. Go back to so edit my video. It yeah. follows the, it basically takes the route from aggregator, but it goes through DEXs to execute the same transaction i already got it mate directly i, I went to the um home page so what is the aggregator route and boomerang and show what the does your uh, transaction hash show so i'll show you if you randomly pick up air let's say usdc and wrapped ethereum usdc I'll take, let's say, 400, and I'll pick wrapped Ethereum. Okay, so in this trade, for this trade, what happens is I'm making 1.01%, which is zero. the aggregator route. So these aggregators, they find out the route for you for boomerang and then boomerang directly executes these transactions through the decentralized exchanges by after bypassing these aggregators itself you know what that means that means there is a route of these transactions and it may not be it is not simply uh, if it is usdc and wrapped ethereum it's not like uh, you borrow USDC, USDC is used to buy wrapped Ethereum and then wrapped Ethereum is sold and USDT is, USDC is brought back and the profit is uh, the difference between the price. No, <laughs> this is a pair. Boy. It is arbitrage. This is trade, purely trade. No. So what happens actually is, I will show you. What today. happens in Fight Club? Days in Fight Club. This is the... This is how it looks to you. 
but let me tell you how actually it goes through so i'll go visit an aggregator this is an aggregator this is a decentralized aggregator <coughs> which is open ocean we we use uh, 0x also we use you can see here we use paraswap we use 0x we use open ocean sometimes uh, different different aggregators we use so if you select a swap of any pair let's say i select 10000 matic rabmatic with usdc it will <coughs> simply give me routes of the transactions and there will be so many decentralized exchanges where there are mispricings different mispricing you see it is minus 0.03 uh, same here and then different here then different here so on different decentralized exchanges there is a different different liquidity this is where we take the leverage this is how you make money with boomerang and let me show you guys the route which this these aggregators they follow and we just understand the route and we execute the transaction directly from decentralized exchanges like this okay so in this case rabmatic is split the the one you borrow is split into 70 and 30 into usdc and rab ethereum and then different dexes are used uniswap quick swap curve and then same quick swap so you can, here in this case three dexes are used in this whole swap so you need to watch crypto. you understand Jeez, it changed because it, and it will everybody. continue to change in real time because this is a live running market so it's not how easy it looks from the front it is not see it will refresh the prices will change if you will select a stable token, uh, USDC is a stable coin. That's why you see very less volatility. But if you will select uh, some, some high volatile uh, token, then you will see. So this is how, see, the route changed in front of us. We are sitting here talking. Route changed. It is now 80-20. And then it is using one, two, three, four different DEXs. And then fifth five different dexes are used to execute different different level of transactions now it's changed again so this boomerang operates you guys the smart contract i tell you which you see boomerang flash loan authority it bypasses the routes of the aggregator hmm. that is presented by the ai and then it follows its own path that's why it is bringing me here from my $400. It is bringing me 404.2780 USDC. This is how it works. I know it sounds, looks magical, but it is not. No, he's right about that. It is not magical. Okay. So this is the explanation of the questions that I received. Uh, well, I only answer the if you call in now you can get four boomerangs with no shipping in and only pay 99 cents for the planet ticket fee. Over, uh for the community i think we should go so, get banana this is it from my side for and then i have updates for you guys i must be getting for okay the investment. so it is not it. sad news that dap is going on maintenance uh, it is a good news that it is going to come back with more updates. Uh, so stop, stop now, crying. Now okay. time so it, it is going to come back with updates because many of uh, you are not able to trade because of your limit mismatch, which happened uh, because of the migration of database. So we are following the entire uh, cycle or route through which we will be able to move the entire uh you know database uh from web 2 layer to web 3 layer properly so uh it is going to take a couple of uh days yes and in these days we are going to uh, you know follow 
what i'm going to explain <sighs> well the trade issues which are there it is due to the migration like i explained last week this issue was reported last week we were trying to find a solution because this is not something uh, which is uh, already available in the market Thanks, which is existing uh, solution we have to create solutions since this is a new problem or there is no product of this kind so we also cannot troubleshoot the problems with the existing solutions so we have to find the solutions uh by ourselves by troubleshooting hitting trial so we <coughs> uh identified all the penalties because some people are getting uh, this error while trading boomerang controller exactly. trade block due to yeah. insufficient yeah. limit right yeah. how many people have faced this kind of uh, blocker while trading raise your hand everyone 10 people 1 2 3 4 10 12 13 all these people are not able to trade because of the discrepancy in their trade limit 10 people you see just where everyone them for the okay. hit, but they did so we need to fix this for Any. these 10 people to make yeah. and, and there are more i'm, I'm sure there are more right. because when the i right. i think we got it yeah rich hey danny did anybody ask today to see the ascension plan Or was everybody uh, just waiting for Sam Lee to be thrown under the bus? We don't let talk about Sam Lee because what happens and we are Satoshi stays and we are Satoshi. Oh, <laughs> you like that? Oh dear. <laughs> um, you can fill in Susie Stealth. Hey, you've changed your username again, Susie Stealth underscore this time. Um, was that was the same? I can't remember. Um, fill in Susie Stealth. What we we haven't really missed much, really, but we did go through. The Spanish um, diagram where they're trying to distance themselves from Sam Lee and claim that they're not associated with him, so they can carry on business as normal. And then we've also found this morning's meeting because there was no afternoon meeting because their Zoom account got shot down again. They'll have to give up on Zoom, eh? I agree. Yeah, because it's just not working. It's not working for me. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm um. I'll loan you mine. I'll loan you mine if you if you want to run your own Ponzi. Oh, that'd be cool. I'm going to start at my own Ponzi scheme, and I'm going. To, it's going to be free for everyone to join. It's going to be great. Yeah. It's going to be when good. you go visit Sam in prison, you'd be like, got, Make got my that. own that Ponzi scheme right here. The um the um government departments might say, hey look, Danny, we know you didn't get much out of this, but um, we'd like to give you um a free trip to go visit Sam and your local, <laughs> and I'd go, you've just given me the best job ever, yeah, and I'd walk in there and he'd probably say under his breath, Danny the Hicks in the room. Sixty one percent of people in America have got credit card debt. That means that our Evermore program gives us access to sixty one percent of the world. But otherwise, what not are you found, Bob? Let's go. Yeah. What's Bob found? Oh, Bob was watching Transact Card. They selected their 13 people who each earned a million dollars. Oh, wow. That sounds exciting. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Yeah. So these are scammers. I know one was in a met a, an old MLM because he mentioned that he was in it. So. Randy oh, Schrouder, yeah. that name sounds so familiar, like he was in something else. Hmm. I'm just downloading a video of Sam. Um, wonder if that works. Actually, that's a good idea, Danny. I might just uh yeah, I know what to do. And um, Danny, have you figured out how to get into Zoom without having a Zoom account yet? Um, yeah, I probably could. Um I've done it I'm three sure. times in a row. Uh, so, so it's like okay, Zoom. You want to listen to me about their meetings? I figured out how to get it in without a, a Zoom account. You dial zero. Oh, okay. you dial zero and ask the operator to ask you to connect you with Sam Lee before he gets shipped off. <laughs> too much, too much confusion there for Danny to. Uh, so uh, yeah, so is it with software? Like I thought, I figured if I had a firewall on my system, they wouldn't be able to read my MAC address. I figured that could be a way of doing it. No, it's like app 
dot zoom dot us. If I remember it right, I have it on my work laptop. But you go to this one website and it, and it skips the whole like please enter and I. What do you do for work? I build stuff. <laughs> <laughs> one day you'll slip up, mate. And we'll find out who you really are. And then we'll see him on a Mission Impossible movie. And said, you met those gizmos for that that man, the Mission <laughs> James Bond. I mean, gizmos Danny, with Susie. All right. Danny yeah, missed him. Game. He was in the WhatsApp yesterday, man. Who was? Bob. Yeah. That's what he was man. He was in there with two, two different music videos, man. Oh. He was shredding it. Shredding it like a like a what do they call it a rapper. Crypto G, Crypto G had a secret email called Crypto G email. He never told us about. Mm. I've just I've just gone and um, got I've downloaded the video from their YouTube channel, and I've um, made it into I've cut out all the bits of everyone else, and then I've got Sam Lee in there now. You know I've also. Just, had, and also not transact cards are scam because they keep paying keep giving me points and stuff after I quit the program over like eight months ago. Oh. So they're still giving me money. <laughs> I might be able to show you what I've done here. Let's have a look. Um so what we've got, oh I actually need to oh I think I need to do a bit of work. So I'll just show you what I've got. I'll see if I can do it. Stop sharing the screen. Present screen, share screen, and then I want to go to window. I'll be interested to see if you can see my editing tool. So you should be able to see um, my editing tool, and then you should be able to listen to this if I press play. If I can find out how to press play from this angle, here it is. See if it works. Uh oh. Thanks, uh, Andy. <laughs> thank you, Nanny. Can you hear that? Uh, and thank you, everyone. Um, again, a good thing. That but we're running things on a daily basis. Thank can, you for can you guys hear on a daily basis. And I'm in my getaway car, Dandy. You should be indoors. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Can you hear that? Yeah. Oh, you can't. Cool. I'm just trying to line everything up. Understanding of the model so that we're able to grow together. So, um, I just wanted to be very quick before we. So, what I need to do. As we get to the specific end, specific zooms for specific top. Uh, when he, but what is said is not true. What he said is not true. So this is the day after. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm lining up the video. People. Oops. We okay. want to only work with the people that believe in us. I don't believe you. So, you know what? <clears throat> I've been. I've been to paradise. But I've never been to me. <laughs> been to paradise. In this space for a very long time, I have been a very private since 2018. I've never seen him on the internet. Have you seen agenda. him on the internet? Anyway, to this day, I'm just editing this video so it all looks nice. And grow with. Is it? Go with. Go with. There's TV commercials on Australian TV. They said, come with. Opportunity for me and then the very end of the video will be this. Um, I look forward to the rest of the call. Thank you. <laughs> and then I'm going to give that to the Guardian newspaper. Because <laughs> <laughs> they wanted a um, they wanted something. But I've just realized that my gates aren't quite right. So I had to re reposition it, you see. So this is what I do all day long, kids. So here's my gates. And then I need to... Um, I think I need to make them, I don't know, bigger, I suppose. Here, yeah, see? And then you get the I spent hours doing this shit. That's why I don't edit videos anymore. We just go live. Now I'm editing my videos live. So theoretically, <laughs> if that goes about there, so near the end of the video, we should have, um, we should fit, uh, what do we go, view? Oh, hold it. Fit there's Sam, and then Sam's telling us a st life like story to, keep it to event as it is. Okay, so uh, back over to Nandy. Um, um, so again, Nandy. Nandy. Back over to you before you go to jail. Yeah, I know she's crazy. Hey, eh? I mean, I don't know what rings their bell. 
Um, but yeah, it looks like I've still got a little bit. No, of I think they're I think they're mad now because I've been like everybody's been contacting me. I've been contacting people about Nandy and like she's going to jail next and all the uh, sub owners. Oh, that's not very nice, mate. They'll be upset about that. <laughs> it's like, oh no. True. Uh, it's very cheap. Very right. cheap. Uh, so I, I think I've got him. There's some parts of it that he jumped all over the because, place. He kept moving. <laughs> I had to chop the video up and find out where he is. All right. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you guys. So let's go back to. Um, I think I stopped the one of Mike Lucas's people referrals. They didn't join his uh, Telegram. They were in it, and then he left it after that. they saw his criminal record. Thank you, Susie. So uh, the bug was identified. Uh, the we bug. ran a bunch of tests, and we understood how <laughs> the problem came. This was our issue, our problem. We could not uh, basically, while moving the database, we could not uh, white label. No. Oh, sorry, no. we could not no. process the database. Did you see that Excel yeah. sheet that I uh, lifted off of Nandy? Yeah, how'd you get that? Oh, uh, somebody posted it by mistake. Is that Trans Shits uh, Excel sheet? That one. Well, I have Trans Shits uh, BTC when I have that one. I have to send that to you, but. Somebody in Bend, like, accidentally, sh I forget if it was Sir Ken or, or Uju or Lips. Yeah, Sir Lips. Ken. Yeah. All right, Gave so me that. Know. It has all the UAE places. So I don't know how that, like, if that's connected somehow yet. I'm trying to figure that out. Amazing. All right. Um, I don't know. No. Do we need to watch the end of this? We don't really, do we? Um, was there anything nah. else? Did we go question and answers at the end? Because, oh, I like that photo. Yeah, I do. I like that one. It's like, hey, um, to the moon, to the Mars. <laughs> yeah, okay. one I'm question. You get one team. question, unless you trust me. As we look forward to that, as you attend your guests, we will go ahead and take questions up to Sato. Um, and Sato, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, I, but I will find out. Thank you very much, Savest, for being here. I have my trainers here. Rajivji is here. Joe Rajiv. is here. I also have the uh, Coach uh, Mike, Piana. Mike from uh, the Mike so and Mike show we'll says, go ahead and Tashoshi. Entertain, um, a few questions as this is Mr. actually Tashoshi. the questions that um, um, th this is Chavez's day to make the announcements, but he's giving me permission to entertain a few questions. Again, I've already <laughs> stated how far I'm going to go with this, okay? So, we will go ahead and get started. Dia, Dia, who would you, you have heard who is here, who would you like to ask a question of? Go ahead and unmute yourself. Dia, sorry, you're unmuted. You're muted. Go ahead and unmute yourself. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. My question is on my, um... My tray always fell, and it keeps saying that the gas fee oh, is too kidding. high, so it's like over a dollar. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? What's this lady doing on here? This is the lady that's been – this is stupid. They must think people are nuts. Look, um, well, I've got to show you this. All right, so let's go. So this lady here is basically like one of the, the, one of the leaders. She's an actress. Okay, and if you go to um, – she's been to Dubai with them and walked around learning how to scam and all this sort of carrying, all right? And then all of a sudden she comes on. They do this all the time. They had the, the – um, the, oh, it just absolutely pisses me off. It's just going to prove this. So if we go to Joe, Joe something or other. Because that's, that's, where, that's where they mess up. They take all these nice photos like, yeah, and then you, you go and you go identify every single person. Oh, it's like um, they reckon if you ever uh, – what am I trying to say? If you ever wanted to get to a building, you just work the staff because error is the big thing that people do. You know, like if you want to get past the receptionist, forget the code, just ask the receptionist and say, oh, I've just locked myself out. Can you get me in, please? 
yep. that sort of shit. How do you think I was that day to the Binance, baby? <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's see. Where's the table one? Where is this lady? Where has she gone? Uh, coffee table. There she is. So if you have a look here, look at yep, the lady. There she is. Right. So here's Sam. Uh, trash shit. No, not trash it. What do you call them? Sarvas. Hey, that's Sir Ken's logo, isn't it? Uh, Wait, isn't isn't that Sir Ken's logo? Oh, good spotting. You think you could be right? I know the one you mean. But heck, you can't make this shit up. So, so at least go so back to Sir the, Ken was there. So now, uh, oh, there's just heaps of those. Now this lady here. So there she is, and now she's got problems. Like she's a. This is going to be a staged question and a fixed answer. Let's have a look. Is this something that I need to change or to reconnect? No, as Chef Fess has just stated, the system has, um, there have been identified problems and bugs. And so that is going to, the boomerang is going to start from Thursday to be uh, maintained. And that maintenance will last till about Sunday evening. So <laughs> Grace, you got it all wrong, Grace. Come on. Maintenance will. Um, that means it gives us five days to move the money out. Are concerned, okay? Yeah. And right. Part of all of that, the gas fees and all that, that's all have been recognized and are uh, slated to be part right. of that fix. Thank you very much, Dia, for that question. Go away, Dia. Okay. And, uh, okay, now the rules as far as questions are, you must have your video on. You can see if you're next on the question. If you do not have your video on, I will pass by and I want to return. Agnes and Martha, what? I'm passing you by. Piwu, I'm passing you by. Helen, this I'm passing you by. This is a real company at this and point. And let's see, I go to David. They would be like, Wasim, we're going to have one person call every single member. David? And be like, are you going to be ready to come on the Zoom call? Because we're not giving. Oh, sorry, out a David. Zoom let call. me let you on mute. ID number number. <laughs> sorry about that. Go ahead. What are you saying, Richard? So they could arrange this bit here. You saying? Yeah, if it was a real company, they they would call everybody. For this level of security, they would you know right pre uh, pre check your call. You know, check you in before the call even comes out. Well, why don't they just get everyone at the company to register? Right. Isn't, right. Email right. list. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, quote you. Uh, please quote your number. <laughs> or your right. all your usernames yeah. must match your username on We Are. I don't know. That wouldn't work because uh, I think I know somebody who would have a field day with that. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Okay. Well, how would you police this, um, George? How would you police this meeting so that you stop randoms like you getting on here? Or was that, that I got, gonna, a, I got another good one? You could also, I mean, like some of the smaller ones you could do easily. You could send everybody a code. Like Rich was saying, like, like some of these meetings don't own, like. Let's take Sonya's room. Sonya room only has like 20, 30 people in it at a time. So why not just give each person a code when she's running the room? And be like, okay, a, a code was sent to all your phones. Yeah. Before you ask the question, you have to uh, give me the code. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, something. I you get a chance to speak though, then, wouldn't you? And that could be the problem because I'd be yelling down the phone, 318, you bastards. <laughs> <laughs> My way I was going to do, uh, say I was going to do is um, everybody gets a call like a half an hour, like a pregame, you know, to, to see how drunk you are first. But then when you come on the call, you got to have your camera on, you, gotta, you can't have any clothes on. No clothes. <laughs> <laughs> then everybody, then everybody doesn't play any games anymore. Yeah, um, Susie's saying, "Look at boomerang right screenshot." Business. What was in the screenshot? Uh, Rich, I think Claude did that already. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Where has he been? Anybody seen that guy? Well, where's Carl and where's Joe and all those people? Carl's trying to answer email right now. He's gonna be busy for next like two to three weeks. Okay. He he's, like, trying to get, he's trying to get his Binance account back together, is he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's annoying. locked up for the next 30 days, and he has to delete 160,000 emails. And they probably say, okay. click that email that goes to you to verify you, okay, so, and it probably gets buried. So Yeah, they're going to tell him, 
Binance doesn't have a bifold anymore. They're going to have to get one of them flat, long wallets. <laughs> uh, you better no, get, a chain, get a chain with it while you're at it. Chain it to I, your... Uh, I, I am dying that they get Carl. I hope they get, like, Yvonne Henry would be nice. Um, the other people would be nice. I really want Carl on cam. I'm like, <gasps> Yeah, but imagine Yvonne Henry. She's going to say, "I, I didn't know. I, I, had, I knew it was a scam, but I didn't think I'd ever get caught." Here's me. <laughs> I mean, I rang them all up yesterday. I left a message on the arch machine. They must be freaking out. Yeah, that's how I roll. Has anybody seen the like? Has the like Susie? Has the Aussie room been posted? I might just stay up to like see how Carl's sweating bullets in his room. Yeah, give me the call. Let me know when I'm driving all yeah. night. Yeah, no, that'd be but cool. Rich, that's why we need like you. You've been away, and they kind of like don't know you. You have to go on when he's calling, but, like so, and you can ask like some of the questions we have. And they're like, and they're like, oh, you could just be like, I've been away for a few months. I've been uh, working. I totally forgot about this program or something. Can somebody fill me in on this? Right. And like, oh, okay, yeah. Here's what's going on. And Chavez is like, oh, you know, he, he, will, he won't be able to stop himself. Like, yeah. like telling you what's new. Yeah, I want to yeah. hear. I want to hear one of them show you know that level of contempt, like, because they never officially said you can't come back here, and they never officially like, oh, now you, we're gonna hang up the phone on you. Yeah. All right. Like. Like you could be like the like the person like we could fe we could feed you the questions and every once in a while you pop back in like <laughs> every like ten fifteen days you show up like oh I was I was back in the program and I had a question about this like can I get an answer right mm. like and you know we could kind of like time you when the new trainees come in because we Chantel was the new trainer um and she showed her wallet so now we have her wallet. So, yeah, and um, let's see. Susie keeps talking about some picture. What is this? Um, Susie, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Susie said one question only. She's funny, she's trying to catch up. It's not very exciting at the moment, but let's have a um, I will just press play on this and Karen listen to her a bit while we can look at this picture. Eh? Yes, my question is some my question is in, in reference to the withdrawal from BTCC into Cron. Are you Very to... good question, David. We will address okay. that question yeah. on su yeah. support <laughs> so that you will be able to show the technicians exactly what you're talking <laughs> about so they can spend some time <laughs> dealing um, with your know, particular yeah, question know. because that's personal as far as what's going on with your ability yeah, it, to do well, that. I yeah, even announced that there is down a down such thing as Q&A. Hold on, we're missing the, the, miss, the pissed off part. Elder, here he goes. The withdrawal? The withdrawal to close down, the, the take out from where you harvest and mine at your corns. The US. Oh, you're talking about the bridge, David? <laughs> yes. You know, the river's washed out the bridge and no one's talking about the freaking elephant in the room. <laughs> Come on. I wish we could get in touch with some of all these people and have, like, we, we feed them each one of our own questions. So, because they'll be looking for us, and then they each like have like a random person here ask one of our questions. Um, Susie got booted from this room. She said, "Remember, I guess they didn't like my my name." Oh, did she get booted from here? Is she in one of those? We can't read this very well. I think Susie's having a. Oh, look, it's three sixty. Oh, look at this. We've got clearer stuff here. Look, guys, you guys. Oh, it's not that much clearer. Oh, we've got. <laughs> what was what, same India Helen uh, a Jerry? Oh, Jerry, I remember Jerry. What about Jerry? I don't know. I reckon you go in there as Norma, she would be good. We haven't seen Norma since she's got paid the loot. What was your username? Was it a secret? Mike, um, Mike Lincoln. It might not be this. It might not be this. Mike, Mike Lincoln. Yes, he addressed that. He, uh, 
Here we go. Let's go back and listen to this a wee bit of authority because it's quite funny. I mean, we're getting entertainment here from people who are trying to get their money. <laughs> yeah, you do that. Yeah, you have to whip bras closed down. That's not personal. That's for everybody. The withdrawal? The withdrawals are closed down to, to take out from where you harvest and mine at your corn. The US. Oh, you're talking about the bridge, David? Yes. Yes, he addressed that. He, Chavez has addressed that many times. The bridge is shut down. Okay, it's shut down, and he's bringing uh, some updates. He will come and he will announce when that is all fixed and all the updates are done. So you're absolutely correct. You cannot bridge in or bridge out at this time. Thank you very much, David. Sorry I misunderstood your question. Okay, no, thank you. no bridge. Wow. No bridge. No bridge. No bridge. No bridge. Now that's incredible, isn't it? They, they, they just shut people off like that. <laughs> the bridge is out. We cannot come through that. Yeah. Hey, what would you do if you're driving your truck and the bridge fell out, um, Richard? <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's what I was you just thinking, like, you better have bridge. You'd go, you turn your truck around, go back to the depot and have a yarn to the boss and ask the boss why you sent you down this road when you knew the bridge was out. <laughs> I can't even oh. imagine how, if if I never saw it as a scam, how would I be talking to these people? If I had, you know, like five or $10,000 to blow, Yeah. how stupid would I have been? Well, I spoke to this guy yesterday over a hundred grand all put down on the table, you know, yeah. and he listened to that. Yeah. I don't know if you remember me doing that interview about Ron and Ron was a 72 year old Australian guy that did a speech about we, we global. And he told people that he had, they were making $1.5 billion a day. The same guy I talked to my guys on the phone with last night. And he's telling us that, um, he told him that he had 5,000 people underneath him had signed up directly from him. And if those 5,000 people have got it wrong, then, you know, how can that be? So, right. <laughs> and then he lost all his money. Ugh. It's, it's just, you know, but they just tell lies. And then you want to hear you say it's just painful. Um, they, what does Rob say? Rob said something. He said they, and they sit there. I know. I mean, that lady that we, we rang up, should we bring up him next? <laughs> yeah. oh, when you guys dear, were talking it? about Carl earlier, it, it makes me think, like, who of this bunch, who's the uh, the veteran of the scammers? scammers? Not the scammies. Yeah. Cause like oh, the, 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 the genius of the group? I don't know. Not necessarily I'm just... the smartest, but, like, Obviously, Chavez started doing this with that Hyper One. That was his first, you know, time at base uh, to swing the bat. Yeah, where, like, like he learned from Sam. Hey, right. a good point. Rob just made a point. I remember hearing this, and I never mentioned it, but there was actually 600 people in this call, and we had 650 once, and that's the most I've ever seen. So what, oh, wow. were they on here oh, wow. the announcement with um, Sam, you reckon? Because when we rang them up earlier on, there was 210 or so. Because it tells me on the phone when I do a phone in, are you sure there were 600 in this meeting? Yeah, the there phone? was. So how I come was on when the I, was, oh, I was at the very start? So they must have, because um, I was on the waiting list. So they must have had, that's a massive number of people. Wouldn't that be awesome if 400 of them were because they're hearing you being like, hey, you know what? They're going to say something about Sam Lee. Mm. Mm. Um, and I got I get some nice WhatsApp messages. I just got somebody who sent me a WhatsApp message now. Find that WhatsApp number if you want to send me a message. So what was that um that screenshot that we looked at? Did oh someone was boring. Oh my god, now we've got to look at this. Um I don't know. I have to bring up hold yourself, no. brace yourself, grab yourself, put your Buckle yourself in the, heads, the screenshots. Yeah. Okay, so where where the hell did you find this one, Suze? Suze, can we call you Suze? So, where did you get them from? You can stretch the box. Oh, maybe three. Oh, no, it's bloody WhatsApp. I've got to take it out. 
Oh, hold up, hold up. Okay, smarty. Oh, you can download the image. Right click, download the image. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can try looking at my hard drive space on my laptop. That isn't big enough. I try not to make an output to say, but <laughs> see what happens here. We might get here yet. Oh, no. All right, you win. Uh, right click. Uh, go to message, forge, share, copy, save to save as. Okay, save as. All right, working on it. I'm um, a multi-platform guy, okay? <laughs> I was going to say, how can I argue with you? I can argue with Rob and put him back in his place, but I can't argue with you. Uh, hold it. Now I need to. Now what I need to do, because I'm using this software, I need to drop that into a web browser and then and then share the tab of the web browser. So I've done that. All right, we're getting there. All right, now I have to share... The, the tab, which is so painful, this. And meanwhile, everyone's <laughs> gone to sleep on me. Yeah. And then, what? And we've lost one person in the chat room because of that. Okay, so what are we looking at here? We're looking at a, a transaction. These are the, obviously, one, two, three, four, five. And then we've got transaction hash. So these are all the hashes. The amount borrowed. Oh, my goodness. $20. So all the low amounts get these stupid profit percentage. It's always a low amount. Is that what I'm looking at? And now we're talking about the profit amount, 8.3769. There's the 41% and... that he said. Yeah, but he said, yeah, he did say 41%. And he forgot to mention the amount. So this guy, the profit amount... Is that eight cents or seven dollars, six dollars, nine dollars, six dollars? I think it's $6. dollars. Eight dollars. So these people have figured out the, uh, how to um, how to borrow twenty dollars, always the same figure, and it's always the same peers, and the profit amounts fluctuates from six to nine dollars, and the Hold it then. So hold it. how much money have they made? So that'd be Is one it, third of the barn amount almost. Uh yeah, Susie, help. <laughs> Where's your calculator? Uh what's Rob saying? He says, remember seeing high five hundreds? And why aren't these trades showing in the uh, other area of the homepage? Uh the pictures, oops, oh here we go. Oh, those are the trades that the guy said he made forty the five trades in order they made forty percent. Did you fall asleep when they were on? That's right. So that they are there, but they failed to tell people they only borrowed twenty dollars. Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> yeah. So if you borrow a dollar amount, you're going to get a higher percentage. So tomorrow they will show a two dollar borrowed amount, and they will show a eight dollar profit. Yeah, because um, today Chavez said there's going to be millions, <laughs> millions of people coming. So tomorrow it's going to be. You're going to have million-dollar trades. So the other stupid thing about that is why is there only 177000 ever made in profit out of this? So all the people that are buying these packages that we can see 100,000 people a day are playing on this thing, and they've only ever made 177000 which we know has been paid out of the, um, the, the, you know, it's just stupid. So I what are the these are the pictures of the 40%. And then we've got Boomer, Boomer Chat. Boomer the Boomer chat. chat. The WhatsApp group, Susie. I mean, I'm in the chat. I'm just sitting silent. I'm just watching stuff like as people complain, grabbing wallets. <laughs> Have I, I've got that um, room. I can bring that up. The I don't believe the blockchain. I've got that room. If there's $177,000 that has been paid out, I don't believe it. Uh, paid out? No, no. But, well, it hasn't been paid out. It's been dispersed towards all the people who are playing around on the system, thinking they're getting paid out. That's the difference. Does that make sense? Well, doesn't the uh, profit instantly go to the wallet? No. Oh wow! Yeah, no, they're doing so it, it manually. So it stays on the it stays on the uh, slot machine until they announce that they're going to create a way to do something with it. No, 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 the transactions come through like they're real and then they pay to people's MetaMask wallet um, straight saying. away. Are yeah. people the MetaMask has anybody still going to the Waz wallet? Right? 
No, but you can take the money off straight away. Is it right? That's what you're supposing. I'm asking the, the YouTube world who understands if you actually get it into your MetaMask yet. I've never heard of that yet. Let's I'm call our buddy Eunice. He, he's so smart. He should know. Yeah, Eunice, wake the freaking neck up, man. This is the kind of stuff that we're so stupid, but I want to know this first and foremost. I want to know if you get your money into your MetaMask, how many licenses do I got to buy every single day to actually start making any money? You should go oh, on and ask that. Yeah, you, you should go on and ask, like, hey, I, I just heard about this boomerang thing. Does the money get put into my WAS or does it get put into my MetaMask? And just let Chavez sink himself. Like launch the gr like right? launch the cannonball. Um, Telegram. No, I think that, I think you guys have got this all twisted now. Because uh, are up. you saying Help that when, when the trade comes through, when the trade comes through, mm -hmm. you ask where the money goes? Is that right? That's what I Rick have heard. I've heard them say it goes to your MetaMask, but I've never heard anybody say that they've actually got it in their MetaMask yet. Yes, they have. Yes, they I'm not, are I'm not saying I've heard it yet. That's why I'm saying I don't believe it. No, no, it, this is this is why people think it's real, Rex, because the money is going into people's MetaMask, so you can take the money out real time, all the time. Yeah, but it's not coming okay, from yeah, the, the actual system. That's right. So they're they're manually putting the money in people's wallets. Right, right, right. Yeah, and that's why people think you don't know what you're talking about because I've got the money in my wallet. But right, they're, because they're, otherwise, they're, otherwise you wouldn't need to be whitelisted because they need that wallet to know where to send it. Otherwise, yeah. you could just sign up for Boomerang, put in whatever wallet, and then when it doesn't work, they wouldn't know where to send the money to. I wonder if that level of security where if they create a DAP like that, where the money's on there until you want to take it off, so you you know you plug in your your cold wallet when it's time to take it out. I wonder if that level of security is the type of SEC kind of stuff where they have to register. It. Like, why do they have to whitelist? Why do they have to have access to? Why do they even have to know your wallet address? Essentially, why can't that be you know anonymity? Well, you're going to be the perfect person to set up a Ponzi scheme with then. Because yeah. <laughs> I'll just say, I've paid you. And you're going, you can't. Yeah. I haven't given you the wallet address. But you don't want yeah. to give me the wallet address. Right, I see uh, that. Yeah. I get some nice messages coming in on my WhatsApp now, which is quite groovy. The impression that the way I understand it. Hey, Thanks, Rob. Rob. The, the big wig is back. Rubby, rubby. <laughs> Hey, Rob, do I got a bunch week. of background noise? Yeah, you got a bit of a crackle. That's yeah, right. I understand. Let me, let me mute it. The way I understand it is yeah. that when you're in the beta testing or the alpha testing, and they said the other day that they'd moved out of beta testing into alpha testing, but Chavez today mentioned beta testing, just to raise a finer point, is that you get a limited flash loan. So you can trade with the limited flash loan. You make money. It goes into your MetaMask. You can withdraw the money. Um, but you can't make a profit because your profit on the flash loan and the amount of flash loan that you have in relation to the amount that you paid for your license is too low. Exactly. So it basically means that if the figures on the Boomerang site are correct, then they have paid out a hundred and well, they haven't paid out anything, but um, supposedly the arbitrage profits from the people who have been trading with Boomerang total one hundred and seventy-seven thousand, which they would have taken out. But when you look at it a different way, is that there's supposed to be thousands of people who have licenses, and a lot of those have paid quite a lot of money from five hundred. 1,000, 3,000, 5,000, and 10,000. So how much money has come in? Um, I heard yeah, that, They've Rob. only actually paid out 177,000 at the moment. I had the answer for that one from the Mike and Mike show. They said 
unless it was some notes somewhere else. They said hundred and something thousand and then 52,000 people. So you pretty much cut it in half, you know, multiply it times two. And are you saying 170, that on... the 170 is a new number for me. But in the recent days, I heard them say something under 200,000 is what has come out. But you're, you're helping me state my point overall, Rob, is that how come nobody could come there and be like, I got so much into my MetaMask. I'm so happy. I want to get a new license. And then you put those people on the live if it's a real thing. And you're like, yeah, buy another license, buy another license. And you literally make $1,000 a day, but it's not going to happen. Well, at, at the moment, because it's it's in the testing phase, the amount of flash loan is far lower than the amount that your license allows you to have. So right. that's why the total profit, according to the website, is $177,934.42 as of last refreshing. Uh -huh. So the point is, is that there's been a shitload of, more money been paid into where all Satoshi or Boomerang, whichever you want to call it, um, to buy the licenses than has ever right. been paid out on the total profit to yeah, date. You would sell you would sell an excellent Ponzi scheme like that right there, Shitload that really got me. I like the way she said shitload like that. It was like now that <laughs> 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 like, I gotta get me some of that. Yeah, I want shitloads of good of that. <laughs> So the question that I had earlier was, why, why if you bought a license, can't you access your own flash loan, uh, your whole flash loan straight away if you wanted to? Why, why would you have to wait until March the first? Like, what's going to happen at March right. the first that is fundamentally different to what's happening now? Yep, it's going to be automated. What Danny question it was. If it, if it was automated, you see, this is an interesting point, just thinking out loud here. If this became automated, you basically would never sell a license because it would just be automatically trading nonstop on the computer as fast as the computer. <laughs> exactly. um, yeah, like it would just never stop. And why, why would you sell licenses? When to keep it all for yourself, you're going to rake in God knows how much if if this is all legit. Yeah, Good and, point. and then you're going to have to gonna... live. Sorry, Danny. No, you're I right. want to comment. I just, I've got a horrible crackle coming through my um my, my sound background? device. I'm just I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on again, which means we're going to have no sound for 15 seconds. Can we bear that? Sure. I don't think Richard can. Oh, too Let late. him Kill it when he screams. <laughs> okay, let me say what I was going to say first. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Kill the audio. Kill the audio. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> say evil laugh here. <laughs> We had a secret recording in the back office of We Are All Satoshi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back now, aren't I? So, what happened then, Rob? Did that shit itself right? <laughs> so what are you back? talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Only Rob oh, would sorry, know that one. Could you guys still hear each other? Oh, shit. Can you guys still hear each other? Shit, low, yes. I just didn't get the understanding. <laughs> <laughs> Danny said, Danny said, don't be talking about stuff on the live that we talk about on the not live. So I can't make any comment to that one. <laughs> That's true. That was in a top secret meeting. Before I lose the moment, can you guys still hear me? Could you guys still listen to each Excellent. other when I restarted my audio? Yes. Yep. Excellent. Yep. Thank yep. you. Right. So that's yep. good. So if I ever lose my audio, you guys can okay. still talk with 
Susie answered the question. And there's no crackle now. Carry on. It goes to your MetaMask. Jesus, guys, you so, guys are like just pimping me out today. I feel like I'm being I used. Can <laughs> <laughs> I put saying what I was saying? But Rob's playing with his camera now. Oh, it Rob. is rich. They're playing with fire with this product. Anyone in the US should be very concerned. I know. We um we went down to 10 people in the chat room. We've got 17 back now. So if something's happened recently, maybe since Rob's come, all your fan clubs have come in here. <laughs> Rob, you have some fans. And, I think know, Susie I, came I, back. No, I, I have one question back. because I missed earlier today. Yeah. A lot of questions. You yeah. think you have one question. The questions are up. Yeah. You only got one question. Game, man. <laughs> what? The boys yeah. Yeah. Is, was explaining um, about how the arbitrage trade worked. Was Crypto G in the room? Hold it. Hold it. I've got to answer that question the proper way. Did somebody say... The mad scientist. Gee. The scientist. The scientist. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's the scientist shredder, actually. Yeah, was he for real? Because I, I made that real this morning. I said that Crypto G is a scientist, and I'm hoping that he wasn't joking now. Because uh, Apparently at Oxford <laughs> University, there is a uh, Professor G. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a backwards because the Lewis. 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 Are you sure it doesn't come with AA batteries? That one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and that works in the same faculty as uh, Hesley. We just went down from seventeen people in the chat room to eighteen, and then it went back to seventeen. In between me saying batteries, and I'm, <laughs> I'm wondering if they if they were switching off the leave. And then all of a sudden they heard batteries and they put it back on again. Stop it, Rob. Yeah, Excuse I'm, me, uh, YouTube. Attention, YouTube. Attention, attention, YouTube. Attention, attention, viewer, viewer audience. Can you go find 18 people to bring to this call so Danny can look at the numbers again, please? Oh, I've got a question. I've got a question. I've got a question. I've got a question. Yes, Professor Rob. I have a question for our audience who are oh, yeah. involved in Boomerang. When you watch the peers come up, as I'm watching now, please answer your question. Please ask. Please say. Oh, I love it. Your question. We are ready for you. I press button one for a long question. Press button two for a short, snappy answer. Okay, Rob, over to you. Your question is. Hello. Hi, Danny. I have a question for our viewers. Is when you're watching the peers go across... Excuse me, is this a Wednesday what? question or a Saturday question? What? Have you ever seen a peer come across... Do you, do you want parsimon with, with your salad, sir? With your, One question at a time, and please make sure you salad. put it on. Has anybody like seen a, a peer go across the boomerang thing that's ever over 2%? I've never seen the boomerang. You get one question a week, and that's the question you want to ask. <laughs> well, how does one perform a hey, trade? Hey, 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 hey wrong, wrong, wrong channel for that, mate. Yeah, wrong tone, man. <laughs> how does one perform? <laughs> you better hang up hold, and call the on, operator. Hold on, hold on. I'll you ask in a different up. way. Okay. How does one perform a trade over 2% if it doesn't come up on the pier on boomerang? Good point. And well, his mother cried. There. Hey, that's a good point. So let's go to the boomerang and let's let's see what happens. Let's so just the, watch it. Yeah, well, let's look at boomerang. Oh, dear, oh, my God. This is going to be the worst life ever. We've got 18 people in the boomerang. Hey, I, hey, everyone, I, <laughs> everyone, everyone in the chat room, we're not going to start showing you boomerang stuff until you go ask a friend. Go get your friends and bring them in here. Yeah, hey, Danny, I, reckon, I reckon everybody go, should go. Go get everybody, everybody. Uh, this is going to be everything, everything. <laughs> I reckon right. we should get twenty people in here and a grid 
five by four across the screen. Everybody brings up boomerang, and we sit there until the two percent tray comes up and goes. <laughs> All right. So how do we how do we do this then? Because these we we have to refresh the browser to see these ones, correct? No. No, because this is no, no. Now, now, look. look no, no. This is a big point. This is a big point here. No, 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 no. Rob, one question only. You can no, 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 no. no, This is a big point because you're not in a conversation with us. <laughs> because Danny's made a great point here. Is is what we're looking at old peers, but it can't be because when no. you refresh the browser, those peers are right there, even before the screen goes clear. <laughs> I'm refreshing the browser, browser. Did I say browser? I haven't eaten anything today, you know. And I haven't. I can tell. Had... Look at this. You so see those peers are already there. I've already loaded. All right, and I you watch them. them. I'm watching them. They won't they change as it goes live. Uh, I think. It, I think it does. We'll do this dirty time. I'm actually kind of happy. I don't get to see it. Hey, we're down to 15 in the in the in the room now. We've lost. Right, got a green and orange one. <laughs> we asked people to go vote a friend. Yeah, I'm watching the you orange. One. Here's the orange, orange. Yeah, orange. there's a yellow one. Hey. Hey, Still there. Yeah, yeah, and the percentage is the same every time. I, I don't think they're the same every time, but the thing is, is that if you're, you know, I'm wondering yeah. if they're just cycling the percentages, like they're moving them over, like, like, do those same percentages show up if we refresh and they just move it to a different coin? Well, actually, I guess a good question here, stem from what George said, is don't refresh it, leave it, and see whether those percentages actually change for the same you know, piece. This is a Mexican accent. <laughs> you know what this is like? This is like, you know, the 90s when when the video games would come out and they'd have the, the cheat code book. You guys are writing the cheat code. Hey, you guys are writing the cheat code for Boomerang. Rob, why don't you do the same thing at the same time in your browser and see if we've got the same results? <laughs> oh, good idea, good idea. Ah, oh, hold on. Oh, and now, that's a bloody good point, Danny, which is really intelligent. How did you think you of that? You show me your boomerang, I'll show oh. you mine. I still want to, I want you to speak in a Mexican accent. Perfecto. I want the potato. Oh, Spanish. Boomerang. Oh, now, now that was interesting because that what? they came up with a different percentage on my one. Oh, really? How do we know it's at the same moment in time? Hey, should we go to the the, the market opportunities link? Because that's the one they used to get. Yeah, that's going to be a better one there. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Well, have we all got our browsers open? Because then <laughs> I'll show you mine. Uh, I used to call it a fly, but. Has yeah. it been changed? And the answer oh, to that question yes. is no. <laughs> when when I was in second grade, you know the swing the swing set. What do you call the jungle gym? Oh, swing. <laughs> there was a bridge. There was a bridge. The bridge is out there. And we, and we uh, I, I pulled down my fly, or my fly was oh, open, yeah. or my buddy's fly was open. <laughs> uh, this is a sandwich. <laughs> is this a and I remember an in post? second grade, in second grade, oh, I got my. kicked out. Of, or I got a letter written home is what it was. We, so you, me and my buddy, me and my buddy, we had our hand out and we said, ticket or licking. What? <laughs> you had your hand on what? We oh, had our God. hand out for everybody oh. that came up the stairs to go across the bridge yeah. with our flies down. We said, we said, ticket or lick it. Richard, too much information. Too much information. <laughs> um, and um, you ended up a truck driver, you say? Yeah, there hey. you go. <laughs> now look at this. Look at this, guys. Remember, remember, remember. This picture here, right? It, yep. did, it just automatically refreshed. So how did that happen? Did you see that? Yeah. No. no are, are you saying that refreshes on its own? Yeah, I just connected my MetaMask wallet because that may make a difference. Apparently, I'm loaded online. Um, so now we've got so on the top right hand corner, but well, I'm looking at all these trades. I've got 1.1. 1. 1. Hmm. Uh, I've got 1.2, and that's it. So somewhere along here, up pops a three percent trade, and I managed to grab it and put money on it for 20 bucks as soon as possible. I've I've never seen a trade. I don't think I've seen a trade higher than 1.3. 
Do you, I, mm. I think I can, I'll, I'll find one for you. You watch this. You ready? Where you go? Watch this, mate. Here we go. We're going to go into the page source code. <laughs> Has there been any one person to give an explanation why you would give ten thousand dollars to do this and not get your ten thousand dollars back? I don't like your attitude, Richard. Here's a question. Oh wow! If if you yeah. guys were doing this boomerang yeah. and you saw some humongous arbitrage come up, like thirty percent. Would you still only stick like twenty bucks on it, hundred bucks, or would you put mm -hmm. everything you got on it? Everything I got on it. on it. But we had that question answered because there was a guy that um, I think that it would get rejected if it's too big an amount. No, Ray said we already had that question asked. You need to come back for the question on Saturday. Oh, I'm going to make the trade. And I thought trying. tomorrow was Saturday. Didn't you guys catch that? Oh, no. Yeah, I did. Come back Saturday. <laughs> I, I can't work out where this is supposed to be so high tech. And when you go to the market opportunities, which is like the key place to go, why it hasn't sorted them. You know, where your highest arbitrage percentage is. Right, right. that's a simple code. Like, yeah, that's on the like, top left. Like I'm sort by... Highest percentage, or what are we going yeah, to yeah, like at, at, at the end of the day, basically, you only want. I don't fact, get it, like how they, look at the images. Wait, look how they did the image. Like, there's a big box, and then there's a smaller box, and then there's the actual coin. Yeah, what are you yeah. looking at, George? Oh, look at me. <laughs> look I'm trying at to, me. I'm look trying to at find. Me. The code is for you. Why does it come up with 12? You only actually want the highest one. Hello? <laughs> Here we go. I figured it out. Watch this. <laughs> 1000 <laughs> percent Yeah, we go. How much do we want, bro? I'm manually changing the code. I've watched them do this on Grogi. <laughs> 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 all, right, all, right, all right, there we go. Got that in. Now we need to um, somehow exit out of here without losing it. All right. Now, look at this. Take a screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> we should show that in the meeting. We should take a screenshot and show that in the meeting. Like, I got the highest percentage shared. Do I get like a free license for this? Hey, Thomas. Hey, Thomas, why didn't you come on? Are you at home? Come on here, mate. It'd be nice to see you on stage, you big radio star. Yeah. I reckon, Danny, that your next video needs to be an apology video. <laughs> <laughs> and you need to come on and say, hey, uh, sorry? to all, all of the members so who have invested in Boomerang, I am so sorry. Yeah. I oh, was look, refreshed. performing a video, and lo and behold, a trade came up. Oh my god! I'm, I took it. I made ten thousand percent. Cleaned out the, <laughs> the coffers. Hey, look! I, I bought a house. Myself. It's real. I now I know how to do Long it. I go, I go like this. I right click on it, and I go um, expect properties. Here's Thomas. We got him on there. So there I am. Expect properties in here. Hey Thomas, we're doing a trade. How much do you want it to be, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I have to get, we'll make it a $130 million, all right? And now we'll go back to that. And there it is. We need a screenshot of that. <laughs> yeah. And then you... And then you hey, mate, that should be your next thumbnail, Danny. Oh. Hey, right? <laughs> you screenshot <laughs> that and stick it up and go, wow, Hopefully. the boomerang has taken off. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Oh, Thomas, what are you doing with us? We're, we're all on here now. Look at us. We're the, the Mickey Mouse Club. How you going, Thomas? A-E-Y-M-O-U-S-C. -E Mr. Thomas. I'm a hey. for the boomerang. Yo, Thomas is in the house. Yeah. Hey, buddy. We've even got background music today. Um, we did have a problem in the room.
Uh, we'll just we'll just do a welcome for Thomas. Radio announcer extraordinaire. <laughs> yeah. Look at you, Very eh? Cool. It's yeah. fun. It was well nice. done, Matt. Enjoyed that. Now we just yeah. want to know next time you're on the radio, is it possible for you to hook the sound system up to our live? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we can pretty much do anything, almost. Yeah, pretty much, almost. No worries. So we're into it. All right, we'll send it out. We'll just send. I reckon we could. I reckon we could. It would be a way. Or you could connect the live stream audio from the internet through to here. Yeah. Oh, are you at work now? Are you uh, in the radius? Are you in planes? Just... No, I'm, I'm at the library. I'm at the library. I'm at the library. Oh, I'm, at, okay. I'm at Eastgate Shopping Centre in Christchurch. Oh, I don't. I hope we don't. I'm want to take it. You got security, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to the crypto Ponzi scheme Avengers. Well, hey, wait uh, till he sees our trade. <laughs> when he sees our trade, he's gonna flip. Yeah, I'm, we, not, um, I'm not actually sure that I've ever seen Eastgate Mall open without police outside. <laughs> Scary. <guy. laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen anybody go into Eastgate Mall and come out of Eastgate Mall. <laughs> All I can say is don't use the AT machines because they charge you heaps of fees here. Oh, really? mm. they, charge, they charge like 4 or $5 to get your money out of the AT machine here because of the private AT machines here at Eastgate. Wow. Wow, I never uh, knew yes, that. They want money out. They want money out. The high security to stick the money in there, Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> well, so if you want to get money, yeah, you best to go to the countdown with Woolworths and get it out of the supermarket. <laughs> That's good to be here. Good to be here in the show. Hey Thomas, we should give you some crypto yes. to play with. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, we go, mate. We don't uh, what percentage should we give them? Well, uh, how much do you want per day? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do well, it. PCC. Yeah, PCC. Yeah, and one percent. Oh, hey, Denny. Hey, hey, you could give Thomas the challenge of the century. Hey, Thomas, Denny's oh, going to give go. you 10 BTCC. Your really? goal, wow, your mission cool. is to get it out. <laughs> sure, that's me. <laughs> yeah. It's like well, organize a, a Thomas, Thomas, I got a question, Thomas. Here we go. Yes. This would be good. Yeah. Do you want to buy a boomerang because you see people making these awesome high percentage rate trades? Or are you buying your boomerang because you know that you're going to get your money back? It's a very um, personal. <laughs> I don't buy anything, really. I'm not investing in anything, really, to be honest. Oh, that's negative as all get out, man. Yeah, he was trying to bait you into buying something. He's just grooming I you. can't win if you're not in. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, uh, do you want a passive income? Okay, you overpower. Yes, but with through this game, no. Uh, yes, I, I have one. Scam. It's called PDA. It's a scam or scam. It's not it's a scam a... until you're proven guilty. <laughs> Track the rich. I'd oh, rather sell t shirts online than buy Bitcoin and get scammed for these scammers. <laughs> so it's a scam, huh? <laughs> you involved with a scam the whole time, huh? Thomas? <laughs> okay. I've been around the, I've been around the world a few I got times. A real pitch. I like these I like Rob grow your hair pitch and Trucker Rich. <laughs> grow your hair token. <laughs> I think we're drunk. I'm not even laughing about Rob. That just sounds funny. It's called DDH coin. Oh, that's my simple name. Oh. <laughs> This is what happens if you spend all afternoon on the internet, Thomas. This is what happens. <laughs> well, you can do you can do anything. I've been in the dark web before. You've been in the what? Get on there. I've been in the dark web. You've been on the dap already? Level four, baby. Level four. I've been in the dark web before. Oh, the dark web. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. you were describing BTC20 as the dark web. <laughs> Uh, you've got to put yeah. in here. Like I've, been in the I've been on the dark way before. I've seen some stuff there. It's pretty shocking. Yeah. yeah. Can you take my, my miners and my BTCC and sell it on the dark web? Um, <laughs> possibly. 
Don't you do can anything. have them. I'll, I'll send Don't them to you. So listen, there you go. It's a shady truck driver. <laughs> we should just we should just sell the soul on the duck we What do you? He would, he would sell the soul. <laughs> no one who wants to buy it. Shady, but... did you just call me shady? Because yeah. I'm willing to make money. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, that doesn't constitute me as being in on the Ponzi. I only yeah. knew it was a Ponzi because of you. Mate, if you had a, if you had a warning label, what would it read? <laughs> Caution, flammable. I knew, I knew it was a scam since day one. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was a scam too. Y'all, y'all just don't know me, man. Yeah, I don't know. Well, what, oh, stop. <laughs> Hold it. Well, how I found out about it, how I found, how I found about the scams and stuff. I, I was following Danny and just all his stuff he does, and I thought, oh yeah, this is interesting. And I went, oh yeah, that's a scam straight away. So I saw it day one. I'm yeah. like, this is a scam. You oh, felt no. sorry for me, didn't you? That's it. You Rob, Danny, no. uh, Rob, I'm sorry, I mean, man. I'll shave my head. <laughs> I, I, I have a product. I, I, I got to find the link. I think I posted it in chat somewhere. Or I posted it to Rich. We got to get Rob this product. It's called Grow Your Hair Back. You stick it on your head, and it makes your hair grow back. Oh, we've got a new member. A new, sorry, a new, new question in the chat box. Um, and it was, um, what's going on from hyperverse and arrest? So, um, what's going on? Well, Brenda Chung has um, uh, pleaded guilty, but she'll probably get away with it because she's trying to dob as many people in as she can to save her bunk, bank, bacon, bunkin. <laughs> and then we've got, um, <laughs> Sam Lee, who's safe in Dubai until he lands on any US soil, who'd be uh, arrested and molested. And then you've got um, Bitcoin Rodney. Rodney. I read in an article that he was arrested right but yeah. it shows that since they opened the court documents that he was attempting to flee to dubai with a one-way ticket so yeah, they got him. See Chavez. yeah he was trying to sell his assets to um the men in black seriously mm -hmm. that's what he was doing he was selling up his stuff but he was selling his stuff to the wrong people that's <laughs> wow and, honestly that's what's happening um, i couldn't believe it and um yeah they chuckled when they told me that one <laughs> yeah. So is that the recap? I think so. I think we're done, aren't we? Are we done? Oh uh -huh. yeah, but I want to tell the whole audience my take. Oh, uh, Rich, Richard's view on the world. Here we go. Susan, you're flammable. Well, where we just left off with Thomas, my my whole thing was I thought this is cool. People are making money. That was the first time I ever heard of any of this Zoom call kind of stuff even ever existed. I never knew that there was platforms. I always just thought that there was technology and, you know, virtual uh, venture capitalism, not anything where people were seriously on this level, this magnitude of money coming in. But the long and short is that Sam Lee was connected to the hyper whatever, hyper tech, whatever you need to find out before, during and after a law lawsuit. Just as much as Chavez is connected to Hyper One and Hypertech and all the other ones. And yep. at the end of the day, Chavez is trying to get away with, I wrote an NDA with Sam Lee. So I get to get out of jail. And all he's doing is he's trying to run away with his tail between his legs, but his, his eyebrows are still going to get singed because the <laughs> dragon is slave, y'all. We did this thing. We just need to watch it crash and burn like never before. So when we wake up tomorrow, when Danny's in the future another day, we need to realize that every single thing that they're trying to do with Boomerang is a scam, and they're just trying to cover their tracks now. Carl yeah. doesn't have no place to come back and promote Boomerang. All the other Australian people are in on it. They don't, they don't have no place for it no more. They try to... They try to promote it through the Russian channel, which is a scam. And then they got the Spanish Bitcoin guy trying to save face and find out what's going on over here on this channel during the day. And that's a scam, too, because whoever sent out there to try to find out this information, they've already got too much information. You're in on it. You're a freaking scammer. So go turn yourself in. Yep, that's great. Who can read? 
Make O take. Do not make O take seven million. All right, this person's definitely not English. Yep. Burning newspaper liar. I. Oh, so it's one of his one of his uh, dedicated fanboys, huh? Yeah. He made you much as 30, 30 to forty million in two years with Hyperfun. The seven million number Garney came out with in an arrest article was him directly taking money from clients. Duh, because that's the money that counts, not the overall money. You're not charged with the overall money, idiot. Wow. Yep. Is that it? Not so you can send them to crypto to join the hyper platform since he was very crypto liquid from having accumulated ten million dollars worth. This 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 guy who must be learning English. There are times when he wouldn't get the crypto funded and just pocket the money they wired him. Great, that's wire fraud. Ten years in jail. Okay. Hold up. And then do the bars. Do the bars playing in two. Uh, yep, can, I've got that pop. Thank you, Rich. He started his own crypto money team. Oh. <laughs> the penny drops. Is that the group I'm in? Crypt CMT. That, that would make sense. Crypto money team. I'm in that Telegram group. You're in all of them, though. What Telegram groups aren't you in would be a better question. <laughs> I have to. I have to spy on everybody so I can start connecting the the dots. I mean, though, also I'm in the um, the GNR WhatsApp group, but I kind of like spoiled that group. I talked to almost every person, and they're like, oh, "Sam Lee's going to jail. This is a scam. Here's the information." And everyone's like, "Gone, gone, gone." So Nandy's probably super pissed. I mean, so she kicked me out. So do they reckon that they uh, something MT is the um, crypto money team? Yeah. Yep. So yep. If we hashtag crypto money team, are we going to find Ryan Ju crypto money team? Is <laughs> this <laughs> my <laughs> make more money, but I'm just saying. That's what I was going to say. Money. I searched for it. I found Rob. it. Rob, we miss you, Rob. No, we don't. Oh, BTC dropped again. <laughs> it dropped again. So what? So what 30 can, more cents? 67.96. It's dropping. So at, let's wait. So just like it went up, went up. Dollar, it went always yeah. up a dollar to a dollar fifty a day. And now it seems like it's going down the the exact same amounts. Right down mm. 67.96, somebody. It's crazy, isn't it? So, uh, oh, my on. prediction, my prediction now would be sixty-five. It's gonna be like sixty-five, like forty, to like. Hey, we should have a sweepstake. Every day we <laughs> we figure out what the the twelve o'clock price is gonna be. Yeah, let's do that, <laughs> and then we won't reveal the winner until we get twenty likes. That's oh, yeah, it. That works. That's it. We're living the dream. Hey, so this this post that I'm quite curious about because I got told I should forward that on to the men in black, but I never read it and I forwarded it on already. But it's like um, I don't know if it's relevant. This guy's talking His English about, is awesome. Go down. I, I can't. I'm going to look it up. I'm actually on a – I'm going to go to um, this table here. Where was it posted? Well, that's what I'm working on. So, oh, so it, it says, uh, uh, what now? Hyperverse slow slash what now? I remember being kicked out of a group once. So that's that's the name of the group there. I'll just put it in the main chat a lot easier. Um, Bob and I covered the telegram ground. We are ninja. Spe Was it spectators? What's that mean? Bob, we are ninja watch. spectators. <laughs> we watch, we watch. I just like oh. slapping uh, Mike Lucas's members around. Like, here's his criminal record. Here's here's the we are should talk to. <laughs> and I just oh, see, ding, leave the room. Ding, leave the room. Ding, leave the room. He has only three members out of the whole webinar jam that he did. Only three people decided to join his Telegram. Oh wow, really? That's so funny. 
Yeah, probably because I side chatted every single person that joined. There was up to like five <laughs> or six. <laughs> Of course you did. Susie, Susie dug up his criminal record, writing bad checks, driving without a license. Wow. When was that? Uh, I have the dates. Susie made a nice little short video, which was great because I could just send it to people. Didn't they yeah. both say they were both in the military or just mm -hmm. the one guy? Uh, yeah, one of them did. The, the, the one guy did. The one guy, and then they were like, oh, this is our first time getting back. I'm like, no, it isn't. You promoted Vortec. You promoted Vitalik. You promoted – there's like a third one that was pretty recent. Yeah, they just – they said they – um they, they came they out left this space for eight months or something like – I'm like, no, you didn't even promote it. I'm eight like, months. <laughs> I'm like, go back on your Vimeo. You still have the videos up, you idiot. I think I heard bo both of their voices before on Danny Calls somewhere. I I heard them before too. I couldn't figure it out. It started to hit my little brain. I can't find this, um, I can't find my little this, wee brain. I can't find this um group. So maybe I've been banned from it already and I can't see it anymore. Does anyone else find it? Crypto uh, Quite Pro Money Theme. Yeah, so I can't find it. Bob, that's something you could do on the on the live is that uh that WhatsApp I sent you. Okay. Okay. See if, see if she'll uh, see if she'll go back and forth with you. What? Mm. Anyway, the one gal, I remember the the one gal from Telegram. Uh. Is this a confidential conversation? <laughs> she's no. trying to get me to. She's trying to get me to go to her platform, but. Oh. I, I was trying flat. to warn her about Waz, and then the I was trying to say to her, "Hey, you know what? This guy Bob, he he hacks my computer. So what's your <laughs> what's up?" So she gave us the what's up, and then uh, Bob tried yeah. to check her out, and then that what's up number went away. So <laughs> maybe we you can to... expose. Maybe you can expose a scam in in you know, less than five minutes. Yep. Hmm. Anybody know who Jason Summers is? Summers. Actually, I like this. Hold up. Um, sorry, my mate. Um, we might be looking at a new shop. Hey, Steve, are you listening? Yeah. <laughs> Another Steve. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's quite cool. <laughs> uh, that's your rhetorical answer. Just answer everything. <laughs> like, oh, look, oh, wow. some, some crypto, and I wonder if you'd want to. I can put it in your wallet, and you go, yeah, okay. Um, so this is what my mate's looking at for a shop. I'll show you. We've got a that's the lady, Beverly Cruz. Beverly Curry, she's on every meeting, too. Hmm. Uh, window. Well, I haven't lifted my ass off my seat all day long, and I'm starving <laughs> and I'm hungry. So that's my mate, Rich. We give you the next hour till uh, Thomas goes on, keep the people entertained. Yeah, you're oh, yeah? in charge. We'll leave you. What time is Ven start? Oh, that starts at what? Um, hold on, I'm in the meeting room. Sam, and Sam said he's gonna scatter the calls. He said that. Yeah, he okay. said in the car ride. In the car ride, he said we're gonna have the calls for particular reasons for the particular calls. Essentially, he was making it sound like you know they weren't gonna. Nine a.m. 9 a.m. Unless you want to go to, yep. What what time is 11 p.m.? I'm going to Eastern. 11 p.m. Uh, Dubai time. Uh six hours. And back one isn't it? Five. So it's ten o'clock. Oh, I can't remember. I remember. <laughs> I, I remember dark. Time was at four o'clock in the afternoon. I think that's Dart or Sir Ken's project. I want to attend that. I always thought you were six hours behind me, but a day mm. ahead. But you're five hours, according to what you said yesterday. Oh, daylight saving may may come to effect. When it when it does what what time of the year do you guys do that? Are you talking about only here? Oh, I don't know. Too complicated. I'm too tired <laughs> now. I think. Yeah. What makes me six is the boomerang subscriptions wallets now. Has a whopping. What makes me sick? 
is that the Boomerang subscription wallet now has a whopping seven hundred and eleven thousand dollars, one hundred and seventy-four. What's that mean? See, that's why I don't believe it, man. So that's the money that people paid for subscriptions. Don't you oh. guys think that they're inflating that to make it look good? No, nah, because that we you can track that. Seven hundred thousand dollars divided by there was fifty thousand people or fifty thousand licenses uh, supposedly the other day. Wow. So, so you're telling no. me you're telling me three hundred and fifty thousand. No, that means that's a lot of chewing gum. Hmm. I like that shop. What is that shop? Oh, yeah, cool. I zoomed in on it. Is there a parking yeah. lot? Well, yeah. That's about yeah like you have to put a truck in there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you got to back the truck right up to the corner. I've invited him in here, whether he pops in or not. I'm just saying, yes. Love it. Over Overdome.net. What is this one about? Oh, this in, America, they got, in America, they got car washes. Where you pull up to do the car, and then on the side where you pull the car through, they got a nice little bay for the washing the pup. Hmm. That's important. You can see the car yes. part behind it. Yeah. Oh, the this looks like a Chavez program. The pixel has the exact same colors. Oh, what? People I was might say try pixel. It. Sorry. Oh, wow. I was going to say People Pixel can, can get a tub while you wash your car. Oh yeah, yeah. They, the floor plan with the green in the background reminded me of a. Wow, you know, like a, this plan is better than Chavez's plan. Ooh, he's gonna steal Chavez's business. Is that we should perhaps um, maybe we should start promoting somebody else's um platform and see what he does. Hey, did we finish off um fish faces stuff? But Over overdome dot net. This is cool. Overdone. When you guys looked at those white label things, I said to you, Danny, what? check this program out. All right. Bing. Do they tell you how much the uh, rates are in order to get flash loans, or is well, that a separate well, element? Loan well, seven projects with partnerships, and uh, have, of course. You have that video, right? A lot of visibility. It's, it's I haven't seen it. So what? on that note, uh, to stop the Hi everyone. Over the last two and a half months, I've collected a lot of data. No, I haven't seen that one. Have um, you sent this to you? With yeah. Overdome. Hey, just send it to me. Uh, Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's alright, I got you. It's here. Oh, why isn't it coming up? <laughs> um, you call it. your... You call your uh, project Ponzi scheme. <laughs> oh, so this is I'm going to call it A-M-E, Lee. You know, like Ben? S-A-M-E, L-E-E, Lee. We'll have to do one on this end. So what's this? Under no circumstances should this presentation be considered uh, social <laughs> something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's already... You've got spelling mistakes in it. Social, station, investment, legal, or financial advice. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is all you got to say. This is all you got to say in the, in the yeah. disclaimer. This, this message is only for entertainment financial purposes. Yeah. Not, for, cool. not for legitimate financial purposes. Oh, this is this is uh, this has been naughty. Oh, no. So, Overdrome is an automatic tool designed to streamline any optional. I can't read. I'm too tired, I think. I think I need to give it a miss. Anyway, it looks nice. <laughs> it's, oh, look. Oh, my God. Let's ring up the CEO and let's say, can we talk to you, please? How do we find <laughs> this guy? Come on. Let's ring him up. He looks like Chong. He's so tiny yeah. on my screen. Hey, let's do a reverse image search on this photo and find the real person. This is going to be good. All right, he here we like go. Tommy Chong. He, he's oh, got no, issues. He, he, he didn't know Tommy Chong. All right, there he is. Kamal Alton. Oh, right, here we go. It's the worst photo you could ever get. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Here we go. We're looking him up. I uh, found him on LinkedIn. He's on LinkedIn, and I've got him. I'm he looks sure like he's on the no-fly list. Are you ready? Is it the same Let's name go. as the guy on the list? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Okay. Is that the same guy? I reckon they've taken his photo and beaten him up a bit. Was that a different guy? I mean, all these bald headed guys look the same, eh? <laughs> I'm going to come on after that comment. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. funny. No, uh, it's just grab somebody who looks similar to him, and that, that's not the same guy. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> I don't know. He's got the same forehead. It's the same guy. It's got to be. Same glasses, yeah. same mustache, mm. same beard. Uh, the nose. nose the nose. nose he could have had his nose work. Could have had his nose work done. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the source. Oh, no. You, you, I'd love you to see what I'm looking at. All right, let's see if I can have a look. I'll see if it pops up as a new window. Yeah, here we go. So let's have a look. Okay, so these are my choices. Oops, I've gone crazy now. Okay, so we've got... Whoa, oh, I can't even get it big. How do we get it big? My computer is going. I've had enough, I think. It's just gone mental on me. Oh, not happy, not happy. Uh, right, so now I need to make that bigger. Plus, 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 plus. Picture's going to get bigger? There we go. Oh, this place got 24-7 support. I should call him. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, I've got it, me. $74, something. Uh, Susie's still going through those numbers. She must have her fingers must be smoking by now. <laughs> She's sitting there with a note and paper trying to work out the Enigma machine. All right, now that's not working. My computer, I think it's going to die. Um, what have we got here? Something's happening. I've been streaming the on. Enigma machine. Yeah. The nah, Enigma so machine bright. is wherever Sam Lee lays his head. Look, I found seven guys that look the same. If you're a bald head... If you're a bald headed guy, you're going to be okay for a long time because no one's, no one can find you. There's too many bald headed guys in the world. <laughs> what Rob, is that a bald head guy? <laughs> uh, Rob, oh, oh, Rob's back. Oops, Jesus Christ. But now we've done it. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is Overdrone? I've lost it now. Um, goodness me. Where are we? I've lost us. We got carried away, Rob. We went looking for a bald-headed guy, and this is what we found. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and this was meant to look something similar to this guy, but he's not the same guy. He's got a different nose, and who knows this stuff? And we were now looking at this. So now we're going to find this guy here and message him. How do we contact him? Have they really got a – Rob's got a way to get a phone, hasn't he? Go down here. Um, so example – Daily target, 1%. How the trading platform works. Why is Overdrome special? Look, I don't even, I don't, I've never found one of these genuine. Oh, here we go. Starter, beginner, advanced, bronze, silver, gold, premium, expert, pro, VIP, investor. 100,000. Oh Throw your money away. And you're going to earn up to a maximum of three times the amount of your software license. Daily Remember edition 1% from Monday to Friday with shut Saturdays and Sundays. Have a day off. It's just the perfect job, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, uh, you just spit it out because it's equivalent to the arcade, you know, the arcade pizza parlor analogy. Yeah. When you go to the door, they say, what type of license do you want today? And you're like, license? I thought I was going to get tokens. So... They say $10,000 is enough to cover everybody that's ever going to come in the door today. They're going to play as many video games as possible. And you're like, I want to put $5. And they're like, no, you got to put $500. So yeah. no matter what, you don't get any money when you leave. <laughs> it's like, what? How does that make any sense? Oh, it's just bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Um, what should I do tomorrow morning, guys? Um, Rob's going to write out my script for the morning. 
ain't you, Rob? Um, right, so it's got bonus, a direct bonus. Oh, here we go. Look at this one. Ben World... is 10 hours from now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, 10 hours and 45 minutes. So I'll wake up and go, oh, not another day. Direct bonus, 15%, 15%, 15.5, 15, 14.5, 15, 13, 12, 10, 9, 7, 5. Now, if you add all that up, that's how much money's, I don't know. How can people actually put this shit out and think people are going to fall for it? It just amazes me, mate. All these career bonus. Career oh, the, bonus? Well, they've got a certificate. We're saved. Well, they've got a certificate. <laughs> Have a look. Bob's got a way to bring him, isn't he? Your license certificate? Yep. Partner certificate. This certified uh, uh, present overdrome in recognition of their partnership and never ending support to in <laughs> your own company. Never ending because you don't get any support. So Jan was the person's name is on the certificate. And I don't I thought it was a man. Oh no. No, no, the CEO of Cornerstone. I got it. All right, I'll get up with speak with that one day. Yeah. Oh look, it's got pretty pictures. Uh game and coin. Thank you. Well, there you go. You heard it here first. It's a winner winner chicken dinner. All right, Rich, I gotta go. Um, what are we gonna go? We're gonna go, we're gonna go read Susie's comments. I have night two Bob, points. night Rob, night Sue, Lisa, yep. Thomas, now, good morning. To say goodbye to all our friends and family. M I C K E Y Mickey Mouse Club. <laughs> we'll the DDH Club. But you can help. Uh subscriptions, wallets, because they feed. Oh, I'm too tired to read it, Suze. But you're awesome, guys. All right, Rich, I'm out of here, man. Night. All right. Yeah, good night. Peace out. Peace out, bro. Let's go. Let's go on. Let's go on. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm cutting you off. See you, mate. Yep. Later. Bye. 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 And there was one. And it was me, the last crusader. Oh, here we go. The last message goes to Susie tonight. There's also been a sizable move from time to time. Did you see the 4.3 move? A $4.3 million move out of what was. It was incredible. Those are the ones that nobody knows where they go, but it leaves out through Binance. Well, as soon as they shut down Binance, it's going to make it really interesting for everyone, isn't it? Yeah. No, awesome stuff. All right, guys, I've done a long day. I think I have streamed for 10 hours today. That's terrible. All right, and I haven't done any work. So I'm going to do some work. I'm going to have breakfast, and it's... Five o'clock in the evening, I'm going to have breakfast. Oh, dear. That's not good. All right, guys. Love you all. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. So this is Danny DeHeck, a.k.a. the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. And um, I'm here to name and shame anyone running a Ponzi Scheme or a scam. Thank you for being my audience today. And with any questions, anything you're trying to contact me, go to DeHeck.com. Find my WhatsApp. Send me a message. I've got to catch up on my emails. That's what I plan to do next. All right. Have a great day. See you, guys.